Do they shrink down to size when they die? <laughs> okay. Yes, they do. I mean, their clothes must be stretchy. Is that like Transformers? Little cars <laughs> and then get bigger? You know what, Nelly, I have a new... I have a new compartment of hate just for you. Because of that comment. <laughs> and just for that little... That little I don't, comment. I actually That's don't all like I needed. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Well, you Mariana made, does you the, made the sounds. The whole group. You yeah. made the transformer sounds when they were enlarging. Did I? Did yes. I do that? I give you. I give you a. Work, work, work. <laughs> I, I was thinking Super Mario sounds like uh, like they I, cut the mushroom. You know. I have to be more careful with my uh, sounds. It, I'm saying we're golden. We are golden. Because. Not to joke. Then I'll wait. You guys escaped with your lives. Barely. Barely escaped with your lives. Yikes. What up, Fizz? Hmm. He didn't show up on my window, though, so that's a little disturbing. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because when you change your input of Skypeage, it fucks me up. The Skype edge. It does. Mm -hmm. Two Uniquads. Let's change that back. Uh oh. Now we got a correct fizz. Okay. Everybody good? Everybody ready? Everybody on? Yes. Cool. All right, then. When last we left our party, you guys hunted robots. You found the location of the robot due to your buddy um, at the inn. Mm -hmm. Led you to uh, that dock area. You killed the robot. He took a hand of the robot. I don't know who has that hand of the robot. Uniquad. Fizz was not around, was he? That's nope. right. So, um, you could have been useful. Could. Yeah, might have been. Uh, um, so you guys, um, you very narrowly escaped that one. Uh, but you went to the the robot had a map that had an X on it. You proceeded to go to that X, which was not very far from where you found the robot, uh, whereby you found mm -hmm. a dwarf and many goons trying to break into a place where your X was marked. And some screaming lady was dragged out of there as you guys were trying to haul your asses away um, and survive the situation. It was very close. Um, thankfully there was apples involved, um, quick thinking. I mean, we only played for like 16 hours that night. Um, there was a sea monster. That was pretty scary. Um, and, uh, you managed to escape in the veil of thunderstorms. Uh, mm. You made it back to the floop doogle um and you guys get a long rest out of the way so you guys can recover your hit points and half of your 
level in hit dice if you have if you use because mm. I think you guys used some in that first rest. We did. So you can recover half of your level in hit dice. Um, uh, and Blanche moves up a level. She just barely crossed with twenty seven hundred and three XP. So I I actually had her um, do her character before she left to take the kid to hockey. So she mm -hmm. is now a um, couple things about her. She took a plus one in her in, uh, wisdom, which gives her now plus four modifier to that cool stuff. It also gives her an additional spell. So she went from six to eight spells memorized. Uh, she nice. went through her spells to rememorize those. She got a new cantrip. Her cantrip is now... I should probably open up our character sheet since I'm playing her. Uh, she is got poison spray. Hmm. Uh, We're just gonna be throwing poison all over. Um. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, and she also has a third, second level spell slot now. Just to give you an idea of what she's got memorized before she took off. Uh, she's got Charm Person, Creator Destroy Water, Cure Wounds, and Speak with Animals at first level. Second level spells, she has Flaming Sphere, Heat Metal, Pass Without Trace, and Beast Sense. Uh, so she took a plus one in Wisdom. She also took a plus one in Intelligence. So instead of a negative one there, she now has a zero modifier. Hooray. So... Apparently, after the brain incident, she comes back a little bit smarter. Her brain is <laughs> overhealed. The, the restoration yeah. worked too well. It only took like four days of her being in a sleep comatose state. <laughs> um, she also has a limitation removed from her changing to animal abilities. She can now take an animal that has swimming. Given that Ooh. she's seen alligators, I'd say that's put on the list. <laughs> She'll be a fish from now on. Might have been helpful in that last situation. I was going to say, yeah. So, um, a couple house notes. I was just randomly re reading something that uh, I was like, oh, we were kind of playing that wrong a little bit. So moving through friendlies. What? Yes, you can do it. We all agree to that. You can move through a friendly. Um, without doing that whole weird mm -hmm. let's move and blah 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 but when you move through a friendly it's counted as difficult terrain which means Half it limit. means five feet is ten feet so also there's another thing i haven't been doing very well with cover so mm -hmm. if you're doing a ranged attack and something is standing in between you and the victim it's it gets half cover. Something. Well, I'm saying someone, so you can shoot through allies and stuff. But if they're between you and your target, <clears throat> that target gets half cover. What about Same. enemies? But I don't care if I hit the enemy or not. So why is if it cover? If you're trying to get the enemy beyond the enemy. Sure, but I mean, I'm okay. See, that doesn't make any sense because they shouldn't count as cover because I don't care if I hit them. That's like saying, oh, no, I hit the wall that I intended to hit. No, if you're, no, no I didn't hit the exact that, no, no. Like, you're trying to hit the big monster boss behind the baddie. And, and the other baddie counts as cover, but the cover only works if you care if you hit the cover instead of no, the other monster. I, Do you see what I'm saying? It makes no sense because if he's covered, then he's covered because he's blocking my shot. He's not blocking my uh, shot. If putting the arrow in either one, it's just as good for me. I'm just saying... Fine, you want to do it with friendlies? Agreed, even though that I don't recall that being in D&D. &D. But on an enemy, enemy should not count as cover because I don't care which one yeah, I hit. It's in, five, it's in the 5e e rules. And it counts for the bad guys too. So you guys also benefit that. It's in, it's in the 5e e rules. Okay. <coughs> it's not like I'm just making this crap up, man. Anyhow. So... Do, do, do. So that's that. That's a 
And you to quad. You know what I need, bro. You know what I need. All right. <laughs> a dumb roll. Makes no sense. <laughs> a 20 plus my level, right? Yep. Oh, cool. Mm, of course, that's 1D, 20. Uh, let's see. Gave me an error. I don't know why that happened. Error. Yeah, error. Who is error? One D twenty plus four. What? Okay, last time I'm gonna try this. I'll try and roll dice too, just to see if something's not up. Oh, there goes that one. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's such a stupid rule. I'm reading the rule. I mean, I agree with the friendlies providing cover because, yeah, I guess if you're going to be like that in D&D, &D, you don't want to hit your friends. But enemy monsters coming as cover is stupid. Why? This also brings the sticky widget of, like... If the cover makes me miss, does my arrow hit the cover? I'm just saying, it's a dumb rule to complicate things for no reason. Past D&Ds, they just said, if you're shooting at somebody, you're shooting at somebody. Creatures don't count as cover, unless they're friendlies. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. It adds, it adds more fun. No. No, it doesn't. But anyway... <laughs> I think it does. It's more hardcore! Yeah. Okay. I don't think that's more hardcore. So, when you guys... Oh, by the way, Fizz, I don't know if you were even around when y'all went live, but the Floop Dougal is up and running for business at this point now. There's even been some customers. Hooray! Not enough. Hooray! Ah, but... Um... <laughs> oh, by the way... I'm going to have to completely use my laptop for everything, and this is going to suck. Anyway. Why? What do you mean? Because it's slow. It's not, I mean, this is just a web browsing device. It doesn't have a lot of RAM. And um, it, the screen's small. So, yay. Go you. Why don't, why don't, yeah, you, just, kind of why don't you just yank that video card out of your system and then go with the motherboard video card? I could just try seeing if to see actually that's a good idea. I'll see if I could disable it, it fixes the problem. Well didn't you say that's what you no. thought it was? I did. I thought it well, I thought it was one of two things. It's either the video card or it's the the power supply. I didn't think about that though. That's a good idea. I could just disable it and see if it fixes the problem. Ding ding. Um so just say you. Um Oh no. Yeah, when you uh, when you guys come downstairs from your sleeping, um, <clears throat> uh, there the the bar is actually or the tavern is actually pretty halfway full of people. Um, then you recognize <clears throat> them as sailors. You they, oh they don't no, look like no, rich no, people then. Okay. They're they don't look like rich people. They're all very good looking though. You recognize them as members of the Hellraiser crew. And you see your buddy oh. Martin as well. Is he, is he Mexican like that? Martin? Hey, Martin. Yeah. Hey, Martin, como estas? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Anyhow. Martin from the Hellraisers. <laughs> Listen, Vato, we want that mezcal. Oh, my God. Can you just do the voice of him? Because nice. I kind of like that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. But anyway, so um, he, he gives you all a, a, a nod. 
Um, and uh, what do you guys want to do? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, Udaquad's gonna, well. The smells of the breakfast. Oh, it's Magla's cooking mm. up a storm. Well, I'm gonna conjure with um, Willard. Okay. Because I, I know he went back to the pocket dimension when the first time I died. Right. Um, and then after that, I'm going to just walk around the room and greet everybody. Welcome, Mom. Okay. Uh, um, playing like host. Yeah, kind of walking around saying thank you for coming in and answering any questions. If they have any questions about, you know, the, the mini beholder or the, the creatures, mm -hmm. you know. Sure, sure. Uh, so, wait, wait, Udaquad is being yep. host? Uh-huh. So, uh, I feel like, I feel like Bobbins doesn't like that. <laughs> I'm you're, just doing the calculations on how many people you're going to scare with your like dangling and whatever the fuck's dangling off your belt right now. Uh, <clears throat> all right, fine. I'm going to go into my back, my back table that's sort of in the shadows and have some drink. So Martine, uh, pulls you, well, while you're doing, uh, the meet and greets, uh, Martine gestures to you to quite have a seat. Okay, I'll go ahead and take a seat with uh, Martin. Yeah, uh, he's like, so I heard there was a bit of a dust stop in the docks. Did you? Uh, mm. Well, I don't know about a dust stop. It was a bit did rainy. You, uh, did you find what you were looking for? Um, parts and pieces, I would say. We didn't quite find what we were looking for, but. We found some things that that were helpful. But the robot was it the one you were looking for? That, the automaton was it the one you were looking for? Oh, that one. You uh, you remember I'm he's the guy who told you say. where he's they spotted it. Yeah, yeah. I I'm not certain. I I can say for sure it was, but definitely dis, you know match the description. Mm -hmm. So we gotta we gotta kind of return back and see. Well, if you're interested, because I know you guys are a rabble scrabble type group, I mean, I I might have some work. Uh, we can't really venture too far inland, um, but uh, I'm interested in getting some information. I don't know if you guys are looking to do any kind of uh, side jobs. I know you got this nice tavern here and. I'll finish up my drink and walk over to them too. Oh, hey, Bobbins. Hi. I was just talking to you to quite about a potential opportunity. Oh yeah, what kind? Just looking for some information, but the the, the travel would be quite uh, north of here in the uh, fast woods. I hear. Oh, that place. Yeah, sure. Um, how much is paid? Oh, I could probably fork over 750 gold. What is the details of the mission? Other than going to the fast woods? Uh, well, I've heard that there's recently been a treant that's been uh, speaking. Yeah. Well, they don't speak um, for very long. I think it's probably past its time when it's had its revelations. And so um, I need to get that information. I do have uh, I do have some special magics that can be used on the treant to get the information. Will it harm the treant? I don't think so. Will the druids be upset with us if we do I it? I wouldn't do it in plain sight. Hmm, okay. And 750 for, let's see, it'll be a couple days up, a couple days back. Eh, sounds fair. 
What do you think, Uduquad? I think it's a great idea. You know, I'm always down for some magic and viewing this wooded tree aunt. I don't know what it's that is. It's a talking tree. Oh. Yeah, I'm Lynch. into that. Lance will know about it. Mm. Yeah. You say the fast woods? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly yeah, that where, place. though. That's the thing. Hmm. I think we know where. Yeah. We can take a look into it. We may have seen it already. Anyway. Uh... So yeah, seven fifty, sure. And are you paying us, or is uh, the captain? No, it'll definitely be me. Well, I mean, through the <laughs> captain, of course. But I will be the one handing you money. If that makes any sense. Of course. Well, um, <clears throat> give us what we need, and we'll set out on that How as soon as we can. How long do you think it'll take? Well, like I said, it'll be a couple days up there, a couple days back. So we'll start tomorrow. I mean, barring any other complications, like, you know, the druids are aware we're coming and try to kill us. Or some other betrayal that seems to inevitably happen. Uh, okay. Well, so, yeah. Hmm. Hey, you're quad. <clears throat> Even though he's not listening. We're taking, um, so we're, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be leaving port, but we're returning. Um, so we're going to leave, uh, phew. I think we're leaving in the next. I think we're setting off in the next two days or so. Uh, ah, Captain keeps changing his mind, um, but uh, I think I think the latest we're leaving is in the next two days. And um, when are you coming back then? Well, that's just the thing. I think we'll be coming back in a ten day. So okay. after that, when we come back. Let's meet up with the details of whatever you find there. I'll have um, Lugar! And this other guy comes up. Uh, yes, sir. I want you to go get my pouch. And he gives him sort of like a, a grimace, like grin. And Lugar totally gets it. Um, and bring it to these fellows here. Nobody else is to touch it. Got that? Yes, sir. And he bounces out. Now listen. Let me explain to you how you use this stuff. It's 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 a it's a magical powder, you see. And what you have to do is you have to circle the tree with this powder. It's a big tree, but okay. It's a lot of powder. It's of fine. You'll there will be plenty. Once you circle this tree with the powder, The tree will then reveal its last revelation. It's almost like a rewind. Don't they move? Rewind. I have no idea what rewind means. <laughs> What's what if the tree doesn't want it to, to happen? They move, you know. I don't know. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Oh goody! Yeah, yeah, we got it. Don't worry about it. And we'll be sure to note down the revelation at Spoo's and let you know. That seems easy enough. Whatever you do. Oh, here it comes. Whatever we do, what? You'll want to wear gloves. When That's we touch right. the powder? Great. Any particular kind of gloves or just any old any gloves? Any old gloves work. work. Don't let it touch your skin. Don't inhale it. Why? What happens if it touches? Don't it? inhale it. Don't let it touch your skin. What happens if it that we do? You might dissolve. I'm not real sure. It's magic, and uh, you know, strange things. Wait, it won't, but it won't hurt the tree. As far as I'm aware, it will only hurt skin, and we can, not bark. Well, then I guess we can't wear leather gloves. Living skin, maybe. I don't know. Use steel gloves. Use whatever. Just don't touch it. With your bare hand. That's all. That's all I know. I didn't okay. create this stuff. I, we just procured it. With a quad. What's that? Uh, we got powder. We're gonna have to disperse around a tree, but if we touch it, we die. Okay, that sounds exciting. I was thinking you have somebody who can do that for us. I can't, yeah. I do have somebody that is not really fictional. You know, they're fictional and they can walk in a circle. 
Yeah, and spread yeah. powder. So that's Absolutely. A task. Yeah, I got handy with He's that. Looking at both of you, like, okay, so we're yeah. good. Yeah, we got it covered. Yeah, great. Oh, by hand the way, give me the, give me the hand. Hand it over. Oh, you want the hand? I'll trade you the powder yeah. for the hand. No, you're getting the powder from Martine here. He's oh, having okay. somebody fetch it. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. I take the hand. Mm -hmm. I look at Martine and say, "Well, it's a deal. Just give me a cut of the powder. I'll see you later." And I leave. What do you do with the hand? I'm sort of confused. I'm going to that sanctuary and getting our 500 <laughs> gold. Okay. I'm like, are you gonna slap him with the hand, or what are you doing? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> I was actually my whole tent to going up to this crowd. I was grabbing the hand. I had my oh, drink. Okay. I'm good. Uh, Fizz or uh, Nelyani, what are you guys up to? I think we're just finishing breakfast. Um, I would like to look for a place to buy more profitable. To buy more what? Crossbow bolts. bolts. Crossbow bolts. Okay. Ah, this is annoying me. So, Bob, instead of here, that you're taking off to the the keep, or whatever. This whatever that. With that place hand. was for the automaton. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it there and get her gold. Yeah, you best not take me, cause I'll try to talk to the other automaton. Boo. Yes, I know you will. <laughs> That's why you took the hand and you snuck. You're like, hmm. mm. Oof, bye. I'll be back. Well, now I waited with Martine though, because he's gonna go fetch the powder, right? Somebody Lugar else? is getting. Yeah, it. yeah. You, you got to get the powder. You, okay. You're, you got to be the. You're the one receiving the powder. Don't touch it. Okay. I was thinking you can use your unseen servant to spread it once we get there. Agreed. Well, see, I'm thinking when we get there, we can kind of scope it out. And if we might be able to do that, you know, from the secret so that we don't have to, like, raise any alarm. I mean, he's an unseen servant. That's right. And that's why I was like, we, if we can all just stay our distance. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, uh, let him do his, the business. And not risk our death. How many crossbow <laughs> bolts do you have right now? Yeah. Five million? Um, let's see, I have... Five. Oh! Wow, okay. You did me cross bubbles. Yeah, you do. Yes. Okay. Uh... Uh, yeah, you can find a place to stop. Um, the price for crossbow bolts is... Oh! What is the price for crossbow bolts? Like one gold per 20, I think. Somewhere around there. The price is... Is, 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 is... Crossbow bolts... Crossbow... Bolts... Can I find crossbow bolts? Yep, that's what it is. One goal. Yeah, I figured it's the same as arrows. All right. You may purchase possible bolts. 
All right, Olivia Nelyani, what do you want to do? Stop trying Leon to shit. not wanting to eat his shit. What else do you want to do? I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm not talking to him. Don't make He's trying. He just he just oh, ate a cashew. God. Yeah, he's a cat who likes nuts. I mean, we could go all kind of ways with this one. I know, but I mean like cashews, not whatever. Uh, how many uh, <laughs> bolts am I able to carry? Five million. Twenty. 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 Yeah. No, Yanni, you want to do anything? No, I'm just. Okay. I'm just sitting here enjoying the ambiance. The ambiance is all yours. Magla loves gossiping. With yeah, me. I was like, she's a real chill type. And she starts like pointing out like different different things that she's been noticing and and stuff. Mm. Um, Bobbins, as you walk out, you get a whistle, and you notice the you know the whistle. Yep, look around for him. Um, and you see uh, you see uh, uh, Yasmin. Um, mm hmm. And he sort of like nods towards, and in that back alley, there's mm -hmm. you know, a jump on a box that can get you to this post that can get you up to the roof where he's at. Okay. And he says he's. Um, I was just um hanging out last night and uh. Well, something followed you guys home last night. Wonderful. Don't worry, I killed it. And he, he opens this pouch, and what you see is one of those small beholders. And he's like, you know what this is, right? Yeah, this little tiny beholder. Well, yeah, well, the, we call these gazers. <clears throat> yeah. And if these things are watching you, that means Xanathar's guild is watching you. I don't know what you're into, <laughs> but I'm just letting you know, uh, this thing didn't see me. It was raining pretty hard last night, so I just... it. It didn't see me, and I just took care of it because I don't want it looking at me either. But I just so I, I, I thought the Xanathar's guild was gone. Oh man, I don't think so. And now, okay. and now that the Zents are all locked up, it's getting worse. Well, it just means we're gonna have to take care of them too. Hmm. Um. I'll add it to the list of things, but thank you for the heads up. I got one more thing. Hmm. So, uh, your group, your group has come up as far as um, some people wanting information on you guys from the Falcor residents. That's all I know, really. I don't know if any information has been given, but um, I mean, the Falcors have been asking about us. That's what I heard. Hmm. Great. That's all I got. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, I just thought I'd let you know. Mm, I'll give him five gold. Wow, thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. No problem. My eyes are open for you. Yeah, I know they are. Thank you. All right, well, i got a lot to think about. Yeah, I just hope I don't get mugged on the way to where the heck I'm going. I forgot the name of the place. Temple of Gond? That one. Okay. So is it just you going to the Temple of Gond? Just me. Okay. You arrived at the Temple of Gond on this very nice day of fog, by the way. Once again, mm. the weather is very foggy. Um, but nevertheless, it's it's warmish. Um uh, you make it there just fine. Nobody jumped you. Um, and it is just as busy it was the first time you saw it. Uh, except this time you don't see uh, Nimi on the uh, roof or anything. Um, you go You go ahead and walk right in? Yeah. Yep. Everything's on the up and up. It's busy. You see a lot of the acolytes running around, cleaning stuff. Looks much like it did. We saw it. Nothing much has changed. Um, but Valetta sees you right away and says, Oh, hello. Hi. Have Hi. you uh, have you acquired the hand? Yeah, I just pull it out of my pocket and say, Here whoa, you whoa, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put that back. 
put that back. Come into my and she like leads you sure. to a, a back room. Okay. And so she shuts the door. As you know, I didn't want anyone to uh, have too much information. Not that we really hide information here at the temple, but, you know, perception. It's all about perception. And we're given a lot of leeway in making our creations. And if anyone were to suspect that we're doing something malicious, it's going to get shut down. I just know it. City Watch is very, very strict. So I appreciate just keeping this on the down low. And I, can I see it again? Sure, I get it out. All right. I know that I promised you 500 gold. You did. And um, I think I, I think I'm going to give you a little bit more. Okay. And she like pulls out this box of of stuff. And she's like, well, to be honest, uh, Onimi made these things, and I just don't have a use for them. So I thought maybe maybe you could find some use for these things. Um, and the first thing that she gives you <clears throat> is a parachute-looking thing. And... Okay. Second. Um, do, 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 do. She's going to give you. Um, she, she pulls out this, like, that has, like, this uh, uh, pull cord, and she says, This, this is a backpack parachute. And um, you can deploy this uh, parachute if you're falling. Uh, it's gonna. It needs at least ten feet uh, before it will fully deploy. Um, and uh, it's it's yeah. You need. You're gonna need at least ten feet of space for it to fully open up. And. Uh, it, you're going to need at least 60 feet before you go splat for it to actually do um, any safe falling with this device. Um, but, uh, you know, and she starts she starts pulling it all out. This is kind of what it looks like. And she pulls the, all of the chute out. And um, let me show you how to pack it. And she, like, starts rolling it and, like, Kind of rolls it, folds it, rolls it, folds it, tuck, tuck, tuck. Folds over some flaps. And that's how you repack it. Wonderful. Now, when it's fully deployed, it's a little harder to pack. It takes about 10 minutes to do that. But um, it's fairly easy. I'm sure. Do you want it? Otherwise. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> I've got another thing I mean, for you if you'd like. Okay. And she pulls out these um, these stilts. And now, please don't be offended by this at all. Um, but uh, these stilts, they, they'll increase your height from uh, two to five feet. Uh, they're adjustable. Yes. Uh, you know. I don't know. You know. It's, again, I don't want to offend you in I mean nothing by it, but you can have these if you'd like. Sure, I guess we can find some use for them. They're gonna they're gonna take about a minute to do all the strapping and adjusting, but um, but you can have them. Uh, la lastly, mm -hmm. uh, I have this, and she sets down this metal cube, um, six inches on each side, and it has a crank. Uh, um, now I'm not gonna demonstrate. Uh, but, um, when you wind this crank, you just wind it till it stops. Don't overwind it now. Mm -hmm. And you set this box wherever you would like to detect the vibrations within 15 feet. If it detects a vibration, it will immediately 
um, um, start barking like a dog. Um, Nim calls this the barking box. And the, uh, the, the alarm will last for, for eight hours. So when, when you fully crank it, you're going to get eight hours of, of usage before you need to crank it again. And then, of course, what you really wanted was and she hands you a pouch of 500 gold. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll have to bring all this stuff back. Um, uh, How's Nim doing? Oh, well, he's in sort of a timeout. We've, uh... We've managed to find uh, some tools... I don't know if, if he crafted these or stole them. I don't know how he got these tools. He managed to oh. have some tools for some artisan's tools and started crafting some more stuff, even though he's been forbidden. So he's now on a timeout. Um, and he's pretty, pretty much sitting in an empty room. And every day he's... Uh, he, he, it occurs to me that you could just sell that stuff that he makes and probably make a good penny for the temple. Just saying. Well, we're all about advancement of technology, not really for profit. Oh, I understand that, but you need money for materials. True. This is true. Um, from um, rules of magic uh, that would to participate in funding, you know, so I guess in a way we we're not really selling. We don't sell these things we buy, but sometimes we do uh, get get from various wizards of the realm that, that would like to do some research with us on creating things. Oh, okay. Well, if he ever makes another automaton you don't want, we'll take it. You can always use it in the bar. That will be strictly forbidden. What? A barman automaton? They don't drink. Automatons. It's against oh, one of our rules. Why, that's why I said if, you know, like because he's done it before. Huh. Yes, and right under our very noses. Not happy about kind of that. Kind surprising. Yeah, yeah, you think you noticed that. I don't know. Maybe he's sneaky. He's, he's like well, a child. Anyway. Anyway, if you need anything else from us, let us know. Obviously, we're competent. So Sure. And I thank you so much for keeping this. Yeah, no problem. That was the easy part. That thing was a little pointy. What's it say? Oh, and the, the right. automaton detector. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. You want that back? Well... Just in case, as you say. <laughs> All right, I hand it back to her. Okay. All is good. Well, let me walk you out. So she walks you. Well, that she walks you out of the office. Mm -hmm. And I leave the temple as quietly as I can. Oh, I'm rerolling. <laughs> I was gonna say. And and you tripped. There you go. That's decent. Uh, I can handle that. Uh, yeah. You get out. Hey, I go back to the bar. Hopefully I don't get mugged. Um, yeah, you're fine. You totally make it to the bar just fine. All right. I go up to our room and I dump the stuff out. I gesture Udaquad and Nelyani. Up to the room and Blanche. Fizz, you can come too. All right. Oh, what is this? Are these? Uh, they gave us other stuff too. All right. Oh. So how are we splitting this gold up? Mm, 
out. What? How much was the gold that was paid out? Well, there's six of us, Blanche says. Only five of us. Here in this room, but you know there's six in our party. Don't be stingy. Boop Dougal wasn't there and didn't help. <laughs> oh, he's I'm helped on asking. other days. I'm only asking because Fizz is here. And he gets paid on other days, too. I mean, if he wants the money, he could be here, and he could have helped out. We could have really used him. Well, well okay, but he was sort of a help at um, a place that I wasn't at. God damn it. Never mind. <laughs> well, yeah. well, I was going to say, he did help with the robot, though, did he no. not? No. Or he helped yeah. afterward. He hasn't been here for a couple of sessions. Yeah. I think the oh, last I mean, I, last time he was around was for the Falcor situation, mm-hmm. but he was not there for the robot situation. Well, if if he comes again, we can everybody can uh, set aside a few gold pieces to pay into his pot. Tell why, you what. why don't you guys have a community pool? Mm. Tell you what, no. here's how, how we should do it. We <laughs> each will get 100, and we'll let Fizz and F- the Floop Doodle split the 50. The mm. extra 50, 100. So they get 50 mm. apiece. Fizz? I'm okay with that. All right, so everybody, all the rest of us get 100 gold. And Fizz, you get 50, and there's 50 left over for Floop Doodle. So how much is Blanche getting? 100. 100. I was going to say, yeah, maybe it's been a while since I remember Alex playing. How many gold is in a platinum again? Is it 10? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 10. I'm going to go buy a bunch of platinum, Sean. <laughs> you want to go to a currency exchange? Yeah, I need to buy 60 platinum. Wow, 60 platinum. What's he been doing? Well, it weighs... I barely it, got it. It weighs less than like... carrying around 193... Or, or, well, that's Blanche. 193 gold. 600 oh, gold. Whoa! Yeah. Bobbins. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was going to say. 600 gold. I was like... What's no, he what's No he wonder you in? turned white when I said community pool. Holy crap. Yeah, I only have 18 platinum. <laughs> only 18 platinum? Yeah. That's 180 only. Oh it's not no 60. I mean, I started off with money. I guess that's true. It's kind of broke. <laughs> yeah. And plus, I feel like I throw I throw things around, too. I'm like, yeah, I'll buy that. Sure. Mm. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> bought your fair share of gold fin soup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which I still have the fins on. No, you gave fins away. Did I give fins away? You to gave who? it to um. You gave it to somebody. No, he didn't take them. Never mind. He didn't take them. You gave it. You get. No, you, I was gonna you, say, you I offered, offered it to the city yeah. watch guy. You're like, here, take some fins. And he's like, uh, no. Mm-hmm. No thanks. All right, guys. <laughs> well, while all this is going on, I will also present you the items we were given. Here's a parachute. I guess it's a thing that stops you from falling too far. Although you have to fall for like at least 60 feet, so... Mm. I mean, don't fall short distances if you're going to fall. Um, here is a stilts. Mm-hmm. I don't want stilts, but I guess I could be useful I, if you need to reach something. I, we can keep the stilts here, so if we ever have to go in disguise or something. Yeah, yeah, no. I guess that works. And this little box here is a vibration sensor, which might actually be useful. Yeah. I think I'll keep that if you guys don't mind. Yeah, I think that'd be useful. So if we, you know, need to set up guard or something. I think I think we could probably... Well, who needs the parachute more, though? Uh, not me. You guys can carry that around. I don't, God knows how much it weighs. 
The parachute weighs like five pounds. It's not heavy at all. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I haven't been jumping off any cliffs lately. Maybe Blanche should carry it so if she turns into something flying and she gets knocked out of the sky. She That's doesn't have idea. flying uh, ability yet. Creatures yet? She mm. will eventually. Okay, I'll take the backpack. And she can't swim. Yeah. Either way, I think that'll be good because if we need to drop her into some situation. <laughs> <laughs> she case she gets picked up by a giant eagle. It tears her uh, up in the sky and I'm drops just, her. I'm just looking at yeah. her sheet yeah. for the first time in like since we created it. Um, yeah. And on her, her she has a totem that she carries around with her. It's a fucking bear claw. She should have been bear this whole oh. freaking time instead of stupid dire wolf. Anyway, I'm mm. just any to <sighs> role play. Okay, so we got a mission to do. I guess we could start tomorrow, so buy your supplies tonight. Well, Martin, did I get my powder? Oh, oh yes. So um, Lugar eventually makes his way back um, long before Bobbins arrives and, and, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and recognizes you and hands you a pouch. Um, with it's, it's, it's kind of a biggish pouch. Um, it's got a lot of this powder in it and um he sort of gives you the nod of like you know how to handle this right and you can see he's very clearly Um, wearing gloves don't get it on your hands and then he like leaves you with it and bounces out okay um i'm gonna get some like a a rag or something like some kind of cloth to wrap the bag in before I put it into my my contents pouch, I feel like he has like a, you know, a little satchel. <laughs> it's this is bigger than anything you put in a little satchel. Cause, cause, yeah, oh it's, really? It's quite a bit of powder. But, so, um, oh, geez. trying to think of how big. So like imagine, um, imagine the. Uh, Old school, like you got your uh, clothes on a stick and your your back, your uh, you know you know what I'm talking about that visual of like somebody who's a, a knapsack. Yeah, it's a knapsack. It's a knapsack, knapsack size. It's well, I mean, bigger. Th- yeah. I'm thinking it's bigger than a knapsack because <laughs> a knapsack is like uh, okay. I don't know. Well, I guess it could be relatively like a hobo stick, a knapsack. You know, like it has like their clothes and stuff in it. That's like. I don't know, like kind of like a small blanket size. I yeah, guess. I mean, would you say it's like like a, a five pound bag of flour or more of like a twenty pound bag of flour? <laughs> well, it's a, it well, you still get twenty pounds. It, it would be like a twenty pound bag of flour, but it doesn't weigh twenty pounds because this is a magical powder. So it's very it's light. Okay, so probably but, really, but capacity wise, it's like the twenty pound mm-hmm. bag. Okay, well. Because you gotta imagine these trees are huge trees, so there's gotta be enough powder to mm-hmm. fully encircle this tree. So it's quite a bit. Mm. But it it weighs it weighs so, almost nothing. Like it doesn't hamper you down. It's just big, bigger than a component mm. pouch type of a sack. Okay. So it won't necessarily fit in my backpack. Well, you you can like it. hang it off of your backpack or something like that. Okay. Um, are we all getting ready to roll out now? I got. I'm gonna go shopping. Stuff. You're gonna go shopping, eh? Mm-hmm. Well, um, I'm gonna go and put the uh, the flower, the magical flower, in my room, and I'm gonna head out to the magic store. No, Kidoki. All right. That's what I was looking for too. What's that? That's what I was looking for too. The magic store. Oh. Well, I'm, 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 well, I guess I'm walking out. I'm going to be like, okay, I'm off to do the magic store. I guess I'll go with you. Hey, Bobbins. And we're going to go skip in in the streets down to the magic store. No, Yanni. I'm skipping. What are you I'm up not. to? <laughs> I'm like the Joker dancing. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> 
<sighs> I'm still gossiping with Magda. Okay. Magda, I love, you, I you love got it right. It. Fizz, what are you up to? Thanks, Kat. Um... Just chilling at the bar. Okay. Um, so, while you guys are chatting, um, uh, you've got a couple patrons here and there. All of that crew of the, 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 the boats, Hellraiser and them, they're all gone. Um, but uh, Ashnar arrives... <clears throat> and um, he spots you too, and he says, "Oh, hey, Fizz, Nelyani, how are you doing, Nelyani? Is this group treating you well still?" Yeah, I'm good. Just Fizz, telling. how good? I haven't seen you in some time. Oh, I'm doing That's great. That's wonderful. So, um, how are I you? Could be better, um, but I've got some bad news. Where's the rest of the crew? They went to the magic store. They should be back shortly. The magic store. Your attention to details, Nelyani. Quite marvelous. Well, um... <laughs> Magla, what say you? Why don't you put some eggs on the fire for me? Well, listen. I'm a little worried about you guys right now. Um... So, you know, we've already, um, well, the City Watch has already um, put up a lot of the Zents that we could find um, that have been carousing. We've visited them, a lot of them. Um, but I do know that uh, the Falcors, <laughs> well, they are titled in... Um, I've got a bad feeling about what's been going on over there. Um, now, I've heard some weird rumors about some necromancy. I've also heard something about Asmodeus. I'm not real sure what they're into. I try and stay out of that nonsense, as you know. Um, but I would just like, like to uh, just give you the heads up that you're not in their good favor, I don't think. Now... There's another thing that's, well, you guys didn't tell me everything that's going on. I'm, I'm sure of that, but I've heard some stink that happened in the docks. Um, Asmosis is in the demon? <laughs> Asmodeus. <laughs> Whatever. Asmosis game. You should whisper that sometime next time. <laughs> Because <laughs> Asmodeus is listening. No, um, asbestos. Uh, yeah, I don't really understand. Don't really get all of the uh, demonology and deity, and, I, and I'm sorry, Nelliani. I know you have your own uh, um, uh, divine. Uh, uh, so and yeah, I, I, I try not fine. to. You know, I don't really understand any of that stuff. I'm just a simple man. You know, I just. Everything is about the blade, if you know what I mean. So, I did, these are just words I hear. I'm just passing them to you. Now, I heard some stinkle out at the docks. What, what's what's going on over there from uh, last night? It's up to you. We're not there. There was tons of bodies and things. Fizz, what say you? You're so quiet. Uh... No, Yanni. No, I didn't I, I, a whole I'm... lot of uh, what happened. Oh, no, Yanni. What? I mean, I've been hearing about your group being there. Oh, also, <laughs> almost forgot. Barnabas and Crowley. They're course. They're starting to try and put things together, erroneously or not. Um. You have to steer clear of those two. I mean, you're going to have to talk to Bobbins about what we've been doing. <laughs> Why can't you tell me, Nelyani? I'm sensing a little deception. 
<laughs> Roll a deception just to be deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You're gonna make me do I don't shit. think that's deception so much as just like she's just like talk to Bobbins. <laughs> right? Talk well, to she's not lying to you. She's just like, no, go talk to Bobbins. But, but omitting <laughs> omit, omitting is, right? is a form of a lie. So she she, she didn't omit anything. She's just saying, ah, you should talk to Bobbins. That's all she's I'm, doing. I'm neutral, <laughs> like Switzerland. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I rolled really bad, um, but <laughs> let's just call it. I equal you eat what you rolled. Uh, so he's sort of on the fence about it. He's like, "What? What? No, Yanni, you're too cute for this mess." <laughs> just I charm him down. Crush. Get get him drunk. Charm him. <laughs> There you go. Buy him a drink. Oh, thanks, bar. Magla. He starts chomping and throws some coin at her. <laughs> Come on, Neliani. I better be I, just. I better be I'm single. just. I'm just in the part of the background. Look, I'm you're, just there you're, no, get... you're background to nobody. Now, Bobbins would tell me what's going on. He always reports to me, so I'm, I'm sure you can tell me as well. It's no worries. He's not gonna yell at you. He doesn't yell at you, does he? You let me know if he yells <laughs> um... at you. <laughs> Most of the time, I just don't pay oh, attention. I yeah, mean, totally. He, he's a little on the short side, isn't he? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> well, listen. I don't know what was going on down there, but apparently, you guys, um, not only were there a lot of bodies that had to get cleaned up, and uh, Crowley or sniffing around, but. Um, uh, I th- think um, because of that, all, all of what you guys did down there, you sort of uh, caused a, a chain reaction of events. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, oh. my notes just froze up on me. Um, <laughs> uh, there's, there's a woman down there. Her name is Grinda. And uh, she's sorely beat. Sorely beat. Um. But uh, because because of uh, your crew, I, I'm your crew. Wink, wink. Right. Um, I think you guys saved her life. So I appreciate that. Grinda's kind of weird. She does her own thing though, and I'm pretty sure that uh, the Zenithar Guild had something to do with what was going on down there. I know Bobbin's. Gave me an early warning some time ago, and I thank him for that, but I'm starting to see a little bit more of an outcropping since these Zents have been locked up. So, you know, there's apparently been some sort of a... Um, some sort of a street war or something about that. And uh, now that we've locked up some Zent leaders, the Xanathar guild are cropping their ugly head. Now, Xanathar, as you know... Our crew took care of Xanathar a long time ago, but this, you know, the guild, the guild, they're, I don't know. They seem to, uh, they seem to still think that he exists somewhere. It's clearly dead. Hmm. Well, I can, I can send Bobbins to talk to you when he comes back. Yeah, well, just tell him, um, he did a good service to uh, Grinda. She's alive, and uh, and I appreciate that. I don't know what you guys were up to down there. Um, I hope that uh, all was for what we're we're looking to do, right? With the uh, with the stone. I'm assuming that all of it was about that. Is that right? Is that right, Nelyani? This is about the stone. I don't remember. Nelyani, you're killing me. <laughs> And now that your tavern's up and running, have you found any information? This was the whole point of the place. Did you guys get any good leads? Um... No. <laughs> You're so giggly, Neliani. Even this early in the morning. I don't know how you run with this crew. It's, you, you, just, you just stand out. The... The oddball of this rat pack. Fizz, back me up here. 
Fizz, what say you? Have you been training out in the Dude. woods? How's how's that oh, crossbow yeah. treating you? Now you remember you got you, you found that crossbow with Ashnar in the crypt, so how's that crossbow treating you? What is uh my most prized yeah, weapon? Yeah, it looks pretty sweet slung on your back like that. Nice and shiny. You keep that nice and tight. How you uh you oil it you <laughs> oiling up you oiling up the strings? He sounds a little too excited about that. Yeah. I'm just saying. Oil and some stuff are coming into this. Crossfire! <laughs> he's start, he's, he's finishing up the rest of his meal. Well, I won't keep you any longer. I'm going to... Uh, I think I'll go out on a stroll. Hmm. Um, well, tell Bobbins and U Uniquad... Uh, and Blanche, where's Blanche? And Hedok, where are those characters? Mm, I think they're sleeping still. I was going to say, wouldn't Blanche be around the bar since you're technically playing her? Well, she's with you guys. She's keeping an eye on you guys. Oh, oh she went with us. Yeah. Um, well, tell them I stopped by. Um, pretty sure I'm, uh, I've got some errands to run for Lady Eleanor pretty soon, so I'll... Uh, I'll see you all later. And he um, puts his hand on yours, Nelyani, and says, um, good luck with this group, and uh, keep me informed. Don't be so shy. And he walks out. Mm -hmm. Dropping, you should have dropped the text. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bobbins and Uniquad, you make it to the magic store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to do the magic store. Hello, Unicorn! Hey, how are Woo! you doing, Gold Dog? It has been great here. Wow, oh, that is business great. Business is growing. I'm getting an influx of... Well, <laughs> well, you know, I've heard some things about some things, and people are getting locked up like crazy, and, you know... Things just fall off, off of people, as yeah. it were. And my store is making the business. Loving it. Right. Loving it. Look right. at all of these fine items I have. Well, let's see what you have. I also brought a, a friend in today. This is uh, my friend uh, Bobbins. He's actually uh, joining me here today. He's He wanted to go to the magic store, so he said, I'll introduce you to my friend Goldock here. Oh. I will whisper in your ear. Are you using detect magic to make sure? <laughs> well, if I, you know, could do that, I would, Bobbins. You don't have that spell? <laughs> no, no. I have many spells but that one. <laughs> Give me a uh, D100 with advantage. So roll it twice. Okay. One second. What? So we're going to do. So. Uh, okay. Okay. Give me. Give me, give me, give me. Give me a D4. A D4. Da. All right. Give me a D100. Four times. Oh, okay. We roll that that third one. <laughs> okay. So what I got you three. Yep, one more. Whoa! Ooh! Whoa! A jackpot. Okay. Wow. Okay. 
Give me a d12. I feel like I feel like this is like when you hit the jackpot at the casino and you just don't know what you're rolling for. Just keep spinning it. <laughs> well, the first item I have that you might be interested in is um holy shit. Oh my god. This is going to take some work. Uh the first item I have that you may be interested in is this iron flask. Um, and you see this iron flask, it has a metal, or no, it has a, uh, it's, it's iron, but it has a brass stopper. Um, and, he's t and he tells you, um, all you have to do is uh, speak the command word. I can tell you all of the command words. I won't until you purchase it, of course. Um, and you target it, something that you can see within 60 feet of you. Um, if, if the target is within a native plane of existence, um, then uh, it must do some sort of... Some people call it all those um, wisdom checks. Who knows what... I don't understand this arcane stuff sometimes. It's so weird. Mm. But... Um, okay. Or they get trapped in the flask. Genie in a bottle. Huh? Huh? Oh. Yes. Yes. And, uh, you know, the creature in there doesn't have to breathe or eat or drink anything. It just sits in there and lives. It's, it's perpetual. It's very nice. And... You can release this creature, uh, and guess what? It's friendly to you and your companions for one hour. Mm. Yes, it obeys all of your commands. Um, you know, so... That is... This flask. Now, it's only going to cost you... Because I know that's your next question. Naturally. And you're interested, right? I am interested if the coin will fit my pocket. If the coin? Uh -huh. hmm. I, I see what you're saying. It's it's yes. it's quite expensive. This is this is. I was gonna say, sounds quite the fun. Maybe maybe this is outside of your bracket of influence and i don't want to be rude i'll just i'll just put that on the shelf for now well you know we could always exchange for items okay potentially this will cost twenty five thousand gold pieces <laughs> i see moving on moving on i don't want to insult listen <laughs> not everything's for everyone am i right or right Right. If I really wanted it, I guess, you know, people can disappear. But no, I like you, Goldock. And I like you. Um, next. What do we have next? How about some armor? Are you interested in armor? Mm, what is it? Uh, what material is it? Well, this armor is... Um... This armor is some half plate armor, but infused with awesomeness, I will say that. Um, and it is a plus one half plate. Sounds really free for somebody who can wear it. Hmm. If you're interested, it's only going to cost you um, uh, well, I'll 
I'll give you a discount on this, this item. 7,000 gold pieces. <laughs> How's that sound? I know it's still a lot of money, but mm -hmm. it is half plate. It's pristine, as you can see. Now, I don't know if you can pool money together. Sort of a weird thing. But, moving on. Yeah. It, it, I don't do it in this at all. I, you know, I am, I just, I, I am more of the light side of things. I, I might be able to have some interest from the party, um, but definitely would have to bring them okay. in for I'll, sizing. I'll, I'll, I'll put um, this way. I'll, I'll, it's, it's fine. It's completely fine. Excellent. Now, this next item, I'm just going to show it to mm -hmm. you because it's one of my prized possessions. <laughs> You definitely cannot afford it. Oh. But I just want to show it to oh, you because you're my friend. And he pulls out this huge hammer. Okay. Kadunk! And this hammer has oh. this face on it. Mm, you don't have Heduck. It has this face on it. Um, looks like a dwarvish face. Um, and he says, um, this, this mall, this, this huge... Mall. Uh, they, this, this is known as the Hammer of. Mm. Interesting. But well out of your does range. It, does it cast Thunderbolt? Well out of your range, I'm sure. Hmm. Yeah, I have 100 gold for it. How much? 100 gold. <laughs> no, that's not. No. No. Who's your friend? Well, your friend is you know. funny. You quad. I thought I thought you were bringing bringing serious buyers in here. Your friend is. I we were. Yeah, I did think we were serious buyers until you started calling those prices, and they're really hilarious. So I thought I'd counterbalance that with a really hilarious price on the other end of things. That's how my sense of humor works. I got to you know counterbalance mm. things. So you got any goggles of night? Goggles of nights. Goggles mm -hmm. of nights. No, I don't have any goggles of night. But, but. I can put the word out. If that's something you're looking for, I can put that. Look, I will write it down. He writes on the goggles of night. I will put this on 30 paper birds for the price of five gold pieces. And we'll see what I come back with. Huh. 30 paper birds. That's a good price for 30 paper birds. Sure. I'll give you five gold for that. I would say so. Okay. And I'll let you know. Nothing's instantaneous, of course, and certainly I'll have to put the look out. Of course, I have an established network now, Uniquad. So ah, I am, I am that is excellent. growing, guys. I am growing. Now, the last thing I have is this. Um, you're, you're probably not going to be interested in it at all. It's the studded leather. It's got some magical properties. It's a plus one studded leather. Probably not interested. Well, I am actually interested in studded leather armor. You quite it's expensive and you haven't bought anything yet. Is it quite expensive? Oh, it's going to be the, it's I mean sh surely you giving the price doesn't cost it's, you anything, it's, correct? It's a thousand gold pieces. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. Studded leather, it's plus one. I mean, a thousand gold pieces. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. It's giving you more than half off on this item. Hmm. Because you're my and friend. What would you right, right. And I agree. I, you have a business to run. Um, and you said that's studded leather armor, and it's a, uh, with plus one, you said? Yes. Hmm. So let me ask you: Have you ever seen this? Something might be something of interest. Um, on one of my excursions, I found just one and only one of these quite fine eggs. And Udaquad's going to reach into a satchel and pull out one of the glistening black eggs. Um. Uh huh. And now the inscription 
on there was some talk of a dragon mother that is to return. Mm. And I don't believe I've seen the dragon mother, but these eggs definitely were left mm. behind. And the nest, and this was the only one that seemed to have survived. Mm. Oh, you the quad. Oh, I hate to, I hate to. Dis- he starts whispering because he doesn't want to. Uh, wait, well, mm-hmm. you, you, you the quad. How many of these do you have? Well, you see, just this one. You have one. Can I can I show you something? Do sure. You mind if I I damage it? Damage uh-huh. the egg. Well, how would you damage the egg? What for? What purpose? Ah, uh, so you believe? You know what this says. And what is it exactly? It's a petrified egg, sir. A petrified egg, you say? Mm. So, yeah, let's it doesn't, it's, go It ahead, has cr- as much value as a rock. And I'm, I'm only telling you this quietly so your friend doesn't get embarrassed. Or so you're not embarrassed in front of your friend. Oh, d- worry now, humble man. Yeah, this is a... Uh, Petrified egg. Ah, interesting. Petrified, you say? Hmm. What are you trying to perceive, Bobbins? If I heard that conversation, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. You didn't hear. Apparently it. not. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Well, I, I do appreciate you telling me this. Well, cause... I mean, you might have heard Utiquad's side of it. I don't know if he's whispering or not, but but the but uh, Goldock is definitely whispering. Yeah. Um, well, I, that's very fine and well. Um, but no, I mean, I'm pretty sure certain one one of these days I will come in here, and you will definitely have an item that I'm in need. But for the most part, you definitely are a great find for different components. You know, or... I'm so sorry I don't have anything you want. Or Angel, I'm so sorry, but don't stop coming. And your friend. Anyone is more than welcome, and a friend of yours is a friend of mine. I'll... Well, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. We we got this word out for the uh, you know, night goggles of night or whatever he was looking for. Those will definitely go out uh, as soon as I get it all written up, and uh, you know they'll definitely go out by the end of the day. And I should hear something soonish. Well, excellent. Well, you are a merchant of fine items, and I appreciate that. Um, but I'll I'll be back, and if I find anything of interest, or should you find any components, any items that you need in the wilderness, do uh, send me a paper bird, and I'll see if I can deliver. I will indeed. And if you find any items that are potentially interesting, you know, I also work in trade. <laughs> Very well. Well. As you can see, I still need some work on that, being that I have petrified eggs for trade. <laughs> you know, it's funny. There's this old shop, and let me just... If you painted those eggs purple, I know a guy who probably... <laughs> that is interesting. He goes by the name of Zablob. I... Funny mm-hmm. character. I believe I've met He's... Zablob. Oh, have you? Okay, so then you know. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You paint those eggs purple... Oh, he'll surely put it on his shelf. Mm, interesting. He's got a weird okay, thing about purple. See. Yeah, definitely. All right, Bobbins, did you want have any other need to look around? Nope. nope. I'm good. Excellent. Well, if you have nothing other than these items, no potions, anything else for purchase, then we shall be on our way. All right, fairly well, and I will. Uh, I'll send you a paper bird should I hear anything. Excellent, thank you so much, Goldock. Have a great day. All right, Bobbins, come. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, giving attitude to the magic storesman. 
I mean, he's asking ridiculous prices. <laughs> He's a collector of sorts. He has many, many fine items. Uh, sure. I probably could have mustered up for the stud leather. I just don't know exactly what. You don't have anywhere near a thousand gold. Well, that's not a bad price. Well, I mean, there's a lot of things I could sell. You know, I got a lot of hands. <laughs> <laughs> Fair if enough. Only you guys pooled your money. <sighs> I mean, possibly. I think the only thing that was worth interest was that hammer, maybe, if we really needed it, needed something, but... Oh, a hammer was going to go for, like, a million gold. A million gold, yeah. I, I think that flask was quite, quite cool, but uh, combined, I don't think we got 25k. The one with the gin in it? The, the one that... No, well, you pretty much create a genie out of it. And he traps somebody if they when they fail the wisdom you can check. You trap Bobbins and then unleash him to the world. And he'll be friendly to Magla. <laughs> you can entrap Magla and she'll be friendly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah, yeah. We have to do that like weekly though, because it's only one hour, so <laughs> we'll do it around payday. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I wave it. All right. So what happens? You guys go back to the floop toggle. Sure, sure, it's about midday yes. now. I was see, it would only it would only have lifted my what do you call it, my dex modifier by like, or my armor class by one anyway. I just said it, and then plus two because I had the plus one on there. Mm -hmm. I think I could find that off of a dead body. Plus one is five percent each. Yeah, you think we'd start coming across things with magic items we can steal yet? Yeah, haven't happened yet. I mean, we know where there's a shop is full of them, though. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I see what you're getting at, Mister Bobbins. What? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're up to. Uh... All right. So, what do you guys want to do? I guess should we go ahead and put on our hiking boots and head out to the tree, or is that a bit much? It's happening tomorrow morning, but no, yeah. No, I have to tell you about the report. The oh, what? oh, we haven't even gotten back. Sorry, that's right. So, are you are you still are you still gossiping with Magla? Yeah, I thought you guys were back. Yeah, they're they're, they're yeah. yeah. We just got back. Oh, okay. So then still? I'll tell you. So I tell them about the report from Ashnar. And he's, oh. wandering, he's wandering around with a stroll. I don't know. And right. So what you know from Ashnar is that Grinda is alive being... Um, Was that the one the guys were kidnapping? They tied her up. If you remember. Right. I remember that. Yeah. They didn't get her out of there? Because we left. Yeah. Remember? She's alive. Mm -hmm. They didn't kidnap her. Okay. We put enough of a hurt on them. They were like, nah, that's good. Well, that's what Ashnar says. He's attributing her, okay. her her life and safety to you because he knows, as far as what he led on to Nelyani, anyway. Um, and you also know the Falcors are, but you already knew that from your Whisperer friend. Or Whistler friend, not Whisperer. Yeah. Whistler friend. Yeah, it's been. Yep. Anyway, uh, so he said he wants to talk to me. Okay. I guess I'll go find Ashnar now. Uh, you have no problem finding Ashnar in your in your typical oh. method. Okay. If that's what you want to do. Yep, I'll go talk to him. Okay. Robbins, I wasn't expecting to see you. Did not did uh, Nelyani not relay the message? What? She said that, you know, you want to know more about something? Oh, well, uh, yeah, I was just curious about why you were in the dock area with uh, in, in the area of where Grinda lives. We were um, following up a lead on the stone. And? 
And we ran into a bunch of very aggro dwarves. Aggro dwarves? Yes, they attacked us. And we put down quite a few of them before FYI, we had to flee. FYI, only one dwarf. The rest were all humans. Oh. Okay, aggro humans with a dwarf. <laughs> the leader was a dwarf, Human, right? yeah, the dwarf leader was followers. <laughs> yeah, okay, so there was a guy in fancy armor. Was their leader was a dwarf, but the rest are humans, I guess. Anyway, they um, just kind of attacked us in mass, and we we barely got out of there alive. But we were following up a lead on the stone, and they were talking about the stone or something. So, hmm. well, I didn't do any um, investigating on my own because Cromley and. Cromley and, and uh, Barnabas are out and about, and I just can't be tied to any sort of situation. But there's a lot of situations right now that you guys are causing. Falcor situation is a problem. Well, if there's any consolation, we'll be out of count town for a couple days. I, you're leaving? Yeah, we got something to do. Bobbins, this is what? good. I need you to follow up on what's going on with with that situation at the dock. Why what do you why are the why is the guild look, trying to uh, attack Grinda? I can't get in there and ask myself because of uh, because of Crowley and Barnabas. We don't even know who those guys were. Yeah, I need to understand what's going on. You said you um, went there because of the a lead on the stone. The stone is of yeah. the utmost importance. Why are you leaving? Because we got hired by whom? Something. And we don't know where else to look. We've been hired by Lady Eleanor, sir. That uh, takes priority of any other job. Us. She's not currently paying us. And. You have a tavern. And. That was free of charge. That was for services rendered, don't. which we did. <laughs> don't get Bob and started Listen, on that. <laughs> I need anyway. you to go find. Why the guild of Xanathar? Look, I already told you I've got a problem whereby the Xanathar guild should what not guild? exist. Okay. And you think those were Zan the Xanathars? I know they were Xanathars. How do you know it? Because, because I've got my own little spy network. But okay. I can't... Where's their network? Where's their base? Where's whose base? Where's I have no base? idea. I know they hang out in the sewers. And that's all I know. They have a network in the sewers. We've been down there. They weren't down there last time. It was just a bunch of underdark creatures. By the way, that's a problem. Yeah, it Dang. is a problem, which is why we need the stone. You should probably have every city guard uh, down there. Bobbins. You know, pushing them back. There's a lot of political stuff going on here. I, I'm sure. But if we're out of town for four days... Four, it'll be like four days, days Bobbins! We'll deal with. Yes, it'll be two days to the fast and two days a back. A portion of your squad you can leave behind so that, just to chase this down. I can't get well, in we're gonna there. We're going to leave the fluke get in there, Bobbins. We can leave the fluke doodle. What do you mean the fluke? The bar? No. The actual person. I, 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 what do you mean, the fluke doogle? Hedok. Hedok? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. He's good at these things. Okay. So you're getting behind. Him. I mean, you want us to leave somebody. I guess okay. we can leave him. All right. Look, All it's, right. it's, look it's, it's I'll fine. Do it's what fine. I can and look, look into Hedok it. can be the guy that goes and checks on. Grinda and finds out what it was okay. the Xanathars are after. Did she say she survived that? You said? Well, she was speaking to me, so yes, she survived it. I didn't have to ask her if she survived because she was actually alive talking oh, right, to me. Right, right. Or talking <laughs> to my people. I get that. It's just that when we got pushed back, they had her. So I'm wondering how they could Which is out, what I so. need to know. What did they need from her? Okay, I guess we're gonna talk to her. Leave it to Hedok. I don't care. I just need somebody to do it. 
Because no, I'll talk to her. He ducks more good for beating Let me remind up. you. I cannot be tied to this, to you guys and the situation. Yeah. Now, especially, now that the Falcor situation well, okay. happened, I definitely... Look, at, I don't know why the Falcors are asking about us, because, I mean, technically we saved their asses. I, well, I don't know anything um, about that. All I know is I pulled... I made certain... Um, things happen where the City Watch weren't all over that shit, so... I can't, I just, that's just way too, I already feel compromised in a way that I'm sort of going to be tied. Barnabas is nuts, and he will put it all together. I mean, you know, he can always wind up in the river. Just saying. Bobbins, you surprise me sometimes. That's a really good thought. Barnabas in the river. Ah. Yep. I mean, that's one way to deal with it. He's, yep. He's a pretty powerful anyway. wizard, though, as far as I know. Mm. Sure, he sleeps, though. Anyway. You are a crazy man, Bobbins. You are different than the man I met back in the day when we were running from goblins and tree do, creatures and I plant creatures. I put down quite a few of those goblins. I'm just saying. Wow. You're just, you're just different than I remember. You're getting dark. Hey, I heard you uh, You got the deed to the keep. Yeah. How's that? Uh, well, we'd like to get out there, but we keep getting stopped. You should check it out. Yeah, love to. But I can't leave this town without somebody telling me I have to do other things, so kind of hard. Listen, Lady Eleanor is going to need an update on this. Stat- yeah, tell her that the Xanath- Xan- Xanathars or whatever are back and looking for Why this town. Are or there. How are we going to get a hold of you? Because I want to make some gold, okay? I'll give you gold. Okay. Oh, you're serious. <laughs> Lady Eleanor will give you gold. I'm sure she will. Look, I'll look, into, I'll look into this lead as best I can before you go. And then okay? report back to me before you go. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. That's all, all right. I ask. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go round the crew up. We need to do something. Hi guys. Hey. We got an assignment before we um, can go. No. How much gold? Um, I don't know. He just said he'll give me gold. Hmm. Yeah, kind of annoying. Um, okay. We got to go back to those docks and talk to that one woman because apparently she didn't get killed and she got away somehow. Oh, um, that's good to hear. See if she knows anything about the stone, or why yeah. the Xanathars wanted it, wanted her. Yeah. Well, we could we could go check it out for sure. Um, By the way, the weather has has definitely shifted to thunderstorms, just like it was yesterday when you went there. Yeah. Uh. Quad, would you please learn a weather control spell? Or Blanche, you can do it too. Oh, well, yes, well, hmm. Because <laughs> this is growing old. Some time before I learn spells of that nature. One. Okay. Anyway, we gotta go. So, what do you guys want to do? Bringing you all, you, just because in case we get jumped again, I'd like to have all of you there. We're going to the freaking docks, Sean. To talk to You're that going woman. to the freaking docks? To talk to that woman, yes. Going to the docks, going to the docks. Like the crappy docks. With the broken boat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, whether I can only maybe ask my other plane connections to intervene, but... That'd be nice. I mean, it's really, I've never really attempted to communicate them intentionally. Yep. Let me just, um, set up this map. All right, 
who's going? All everybody? Everybody is going. So you don't want to send Hedok on his own. No, I'm just, just using Hedok as a reason to shut him up, to be honest. <laughs> um but we'll do the investigation as much as we can. And then we're gonna go murder all the Xanathars. The Xanathars are locked up as far as you know. Not 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 the Xanathars. Oh, the Xanathars. Sense. You're right, I'm sorry. Yes, the Xanathars. Yeah. Are... And kill all of them, finish that gang off once again, and get the stone. And then be on our way. Oh, we're gonna do that in about an hour. Shouldn't take too long. We got Fizz with us now, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh. You are uh, back to. What's that? Uh, by the way, I wanted to just say I think you were 100% right on about that disabling the card because it hasn't crashed since I disabled it. So it's most definitely my graphics card. Well, you're the one who mentioned it before. I was just suggesting. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I, I mentioned it because I was doing some reading on the, the particular errors that were going on, and somebody suggested that it might be it, but this seems to confirm it. You know? Mm. Oh, well, I mean, you're getting blue. It's just a matter of yeah. figuring out which what hardware it is. So you guys are oh, back at the fine. docks and um, where you were. A little bit, basically... This is all giving you a little bit of PTSD feeling, except for you, Fizz, because you weren't there. Um, but it, it's all calm, other than the rain that's happening right now. In fact, let me add the rain. I hate that rain. No, not that rain. This one. It's, it's very tinny. So yeah, that's, that's a much better rain. Um... So it's been foggy all day and it's rainy. It's been rainy. No, no, it's not like you just got here and it turned rainy. It's it's been rainy all day, just like it was yesterday, just like it was when you were here the last time. Um, but there's nothing. It's doing about. Now, just to remind you, uh, uh, this building was the the. The building was the location of the X? Yes. Oh, right, yeah. Blanche has no problem. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, are we just waiting to see what our moves are? No. I'm just waiting for you guys to tell me what yeah. you're going to do. Yeah. I mean, we are going to go to the uh, door. There's two doors. There's one on the west go. and one on the south, and you know that because you witnessed the alleged Xanathar guild trying to rip those doors open. But you do blench these on the southern door. It's piecemealed put back together. It's shredded because break in. And blench knocks on the door. Um, with no answer. But the door is, like, hanging on by a thread. It was basically just kind of hung there. Um, and just very, like, there's, like, a hinge to the door, a little metal hinge. It looks like it's just, you know, really just nailed loosely. Um, and eventually someone comes to the door and... and uh, uh, it's, it's a human says, um, how can I help you? And you, and, um, she, uh, she, she's shit. She's got like black eyes. Both eyes are blackened. Her nose was recently broken. Her lip cut. And she's still got, like, dried blood on her, as if, like, you know, she's not, she hasn't really done anything about it. Um, but she does have, like, some bandages around her arm. Um, 
she looks rough. She's got like a tunic on that's got definite like you can tell because you've been in battle before. You can see that it's clearly like stab wounds. Um, so there's like not you don't see the wounds beyond the shirt, but you see the cut marks of swords into this tunic. Mm. And mm. she's like, how can I help you? You're... Are you... Are you Grenda? Yes. Well, uh... You're not we... being... That's... Good. No, no, but we saw the people and try to stop the people who who were here yesterday um and we we were just really concerned about your safety we saw as we were retreating from our battle wounds we saw them pull you from the door and starts, we were going to come back to make immediately sure immediately she starts sniffing she's got that and like a tear comes down yeah so so yeah, you were the ones um, that distracted them from my place well yes I, I appreciate that I I knew I knew that someone was here because they were but they weren't they weren't they didn't kill me and I don't know why they didn't kill me but I knew that they were distracted with because they were trying to get in here for so long and they stopped for a while Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. And then I'm going to look over at Nilyani's way. Yeah. Um, I'm going to awaken mind. Uh, let's see. And, uh, and I'm going to say, well, we, we are here to make sure that you are doing okay. And it seems like, you know, they, they really kind of got to you. And we're really apologetic and sorry that we couldn't get to you first. She's, like you, um, as you're talking to her, like more and more tears are gushing. But she's not making a sound other than like you're like, <gasps> yeah. Making her relive the drama. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, we just wanted to make sure and, and ask you, you know, what... What did what prompted them to attack you so much? Well, they're, they're assholes, and they. I was told. Listen, I I was told that uh, to well. It's, this is all my fault. I made deals with the Xanathar Guild. I know that was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. And I just, I just, I just need, I just needed an income. And and I, I was told to re to receive a a magical item from an automaton was, and, and he brought it to me but I just I just immediately didn't feel it was right so I kept it for myself mm. well that's very interesting um, they and... wanted it but I don't have it I don't the... have it and the automaton never brought it to you is what happened or oh, he brought it but I knew something was up I knew something evil was come would come of it, and it it did. It did. I, yeah. Um, so I gave it to so my what... friend. <gasps> his, his, his... I'm gonna heal her. Okay. It's your first level spell. Your light wounds. Okay. Yeah, so Nelyani, let me introduce you to our uh, our team healer here, Nelyani. She's gonna she's gonna help you a little bit. As you touch her, she's like, 
Whoa. Thank you. What you do to her now, Yanni? <laughs> Showed her the light. She's, but she's still <laughs> crying a little bit, and she says... Yeah. Just less broken. I... Listen. I knew whatever it was. The Xanathar's guilt could not have this object. I just know it. It was some mm. stone of... It had magical mm. properties, and I just couldn't do it. So I kept it. And when they came banging yeah. on my doors, I... I gave it to my rat. And he took it yeah. to... Did you... Yes? Your rat, is he a, is he a familiar or she gives you, a she pet? She gives you a look. Yes, of course he was my familiar. Where's the food to go and eat him? Huh. Excellent. Well, yes. I have I have my, my yes. friend, Willard. You were about to tell us where the rat took the stone? Are you there, Bobbins, or are you stealthy still? I'm stealthing, but I just came out of stealth. I was standing there all the time. Oh, yeah. You were obviously pretending to hide with your nine stealth. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you're now all of a sudden talking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, she's like, um, yes, my rat friend to bring it to my mausoleum, my family mausoleum. Hmm. So, it is safe there. As you can see, the Xanathars were quite upset when I told them I didn't have it, and they kept me alive. I don't know why they kept me alive. I assume have you it's thought about of you, you all who, who fought, for? Did you, I don't even know why you're here. I assume you were fighting for me. What are you trying to perceive? Anybody around here listening uh, in? You perceive nothing. I know. <laughs> um, anyway. So, if you're all asking for the same, well, kill me if you must, but I don't have it. Mm-hmm. What's in your family mausoleum, you said? It is. Where's that? I don't know if I can trust you. How can I trust you? Sure. Why are you seeking yeah. this thing? Uh, we work for important people in the city. <sighs> not the Xanathars. Well, I obviously know that you're not the for Xanathar. Sure. Because... Well. Well, I mean... Uh, uh, why don't you explain it? You're much more who, persuasive. Who has... Um, who has the map that we got from the Onomaton? I assume Blanche. Blanche does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We we did give it to Blanche. All right. Blanche, show, the map. Blanche shows the map. And she's like, this creature did this automaton. Did he give you the stone? We were following no. the the. We were following. We were trying to find what was going on with this automaton, and um, uh, and we found this map that had an X on your place here. And she says, "Yes, I I did. Yes, he's the one who delivered the stone to me." Hmm. And and so this stone, it, it is important to keep um, safe. And I, I can tell you, um, w you know, we did we did come and we saw you, and we wanted to come back and fight for you, and and still keep you protected. And we understand the importance of that stone in protecting the weave. What do you know of the weave? And is well, you see, I've heard it, the weave is diminishing. It. You, you're studying it. Oh, this is good because. I think the weave is broken. And there's been other accounts as well. We've met with uh, uh, Veshnar, who is a uh, you know uh, past study of wizardry. Um, yes, yes, yes. Now, now currently into uh, writing historical occurrences. 
and and this stone is what's causing the weave to um, come I apart. I can tell you firsthand that the I know the weave is coming apart. Yes, I have a that's I what... have a submersible a submersible vehicle, and I very often while looking for gold and other such objects, I've seen the creatures of the dark. So I know mm -hmm. that the weave is broken. How else would they... You have a submersible vehicle? Yes. <laughs> How much does this run? Well, what do you mean? How much does that cost? To run? Like on a day? To or... own, to buy. I created it myself. I made it. I constructed it. Mm. You look like you don't believe me. I mean, can I see it? Um, well, well, I'm certain you could, your group could just kill me. And so, yes, you can see it. I'm not going to freaking kill you. <laughs> we have no space. interest in killing you. If I want um, to kill you, you'd already be dead. Anyway. <laughs> Bobbins is quite the, the studious person himself. You see, he comes from a lineage of wealthy folk and... I think okay. a submersible vehicle is quite unique to him. And my, I'm more interested in this in protecting the stone to help you with that burden, so you don't have to fight the the hordes of Xanathar or any other malicious. I don't want again. this burden anymore. I thank you. What is your name, sir? Uduquad. Uduquad. I thank you so much. You're the only. I don't want this burden. I don't want it. I I only accepted the opportunity to make some coin. That's all I'm after. I just need to survive. Mm. I don't want a lot of coin. I don't want to be rich. I just needed some coin. But then I realized that this was not good. I didn't want it in my possession. So I sent my rat off to hide this stone. Mm. I just I just don't want it around me. You can understand. And I got beaten for it. Absolutely. Um, so, would you would you mind really? Uh, uh, shows she like walks. Look, come over here. You see this, and she brings you into this other room, this other area, and she says, "This is what I call the apparatus. Is a submersible uh, vehicle." And I use it to um, scour the 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 the, um, the surface of the of this water where dropped coins or, or magical items, mm. and that's that's all I do. I just she's human, mm, right? To living. Huh, interesting. Do you ever sell off to Goldock magical items? He might be a good consignment. I don't know Goldock, but I would love to be introduced uh -huh. because I, you know, as I procure items, I'm not interested in magic so much. I just, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not an adventurer. I just, I just want to uh, make a living. Make a living. I understand. Let's see. Um, well, it. I, you don't have to say. I don't want to run the risk of releasing the location of um, or similar item of interest. So if you just meet with Blanche here, um, it, it, is it on this map? And you can maybe just mark that. Give me a persuasion with advantage. Okay, let's see. Well, yeah, advantage. <laughs> with it, yeah, yeah with advantage. advantage? Okay. <laughs> Ingrid, are you on? I, I do see, see Ingrid. Ingrid. I don't, I don't know, know if vocal yet. I think her her like audio settings reset or something every time yeah. she I'll wait. boots up. So, uh, so she actually marks on the map. Yes. And let me show you where. And, 
you guys aren't on the Overland map, so I can't, or the Kandora map, so I can't show you, but she marks the spot on the map for you guys. This is, this Excellent. is my private well, mausoleum. So, mm. yes, this is where I sent my familiar, as you know, uh, with the stone of some strange powers um, to hide it. I know of my mausoleum. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, what is your, uh, I, I know that your rat has a name. My bird, Willard, has a name. Yes, my, my rat's name oh, is Miko. Strange. Miko, okay. Excellent. Well, uh, should Miko be there, um, hopefully he might lead us. Uh, he still might be thinking to hide and protect the stone, but I'll show you. We will not harm your familiar. Um if we do encounter Miko. Um, but, uh, you know, since we're on the topic, and I know that you're in the interest of making gold, have you found anything of recent uh, that you were looking to sell? Any potions or magical items, weapons? Oh, I don't really find any usable potions underwater. No, mm -hmm. no, no. Mm, okay. Um, but I do have some interesting metals I don't understand what they are. I haven't seen this type of metal before. Um, and she shows you some shiny, like, copperish looking metal. I'm not sure what its use usages are, but I'm sure it's handy to someone. Yeah, I would take that to Temple of Yond. Gond. Gond. <laughs> is that what it is? Yes. Yeah, it's Gond. That was more Bobbit's ah. thing. <laughs> Well, that's a good note. I, I I don't feel like I really have much as of yet, so I will keep collecting as I find more. And uh, as soon as I have a, a cart's worth, I will definitely search out the Temple of Gond. Excellent. Yeah, you, gotta, you must forgive me. I'm more interested in uh, not so much the temple, but also... I really appreciate everything you've done for me. I feel that if it wasn't for you, and I and I mentioned it to one of your guards who came by here asking questions, um, that if it wasn't for you guys, I I I probably would have been killed. Mm -hmm. uh, you were you were just enough of a distraction, and I really thank your healer here for healing me. I feel so much better. Yeah. And if at any time you want to rent my apparatus, you know we can. We can we can work out a deal if you'd like to search the under under waters with me. Um, I expect you know some percentages of the work performed, and of course you wouldn't be able to use it when I'm using it, where I would get, be getting my 100 percent. But on the off hours, where you know I'm asleep, if you wanted to rent it and also use the apparatus to search for treasures of the beyond. Uh, we could work out a deal where I get a percentage of the time or of the material that you find. Mm. Okay. Excellent. Well, uh, just for safety's sake, you know what the stone attracts, um, Grenda. So um, if you could just go ahead and, you know, not mention our conversation as you understand. And I'm going to go ahead and give her five gold pieces. And I just appreciate you for your time. Give her either a persuasion or deception. Or not deception. Give her either a persuasion or intimidation. Your choice. I don't want to intimidate the poor thing. Well, that comment is off-putting a little bit. <laughs> um, sure. Yeah, well, just in case. I don't want to have the stone, but... Should you need any more help, do feel free to send Miko out um, to seek us if, if we're... Mm -hmm. Okay, we will do. So, I guess... And um, we can help in any way we do your time. 
She bids you farewell. Mm -hmm. And just the area that she is referring to is Chevy. Even. in this area here. Oh, it's up north. Hmm. Okay, so should we make our way to some mausoleums? Sounds about right. Point it is late afternoon, getting into evening. Perfect time for visiting a graveyard. Mausoleum, yeah, mausoleum excursion. I feel like I build up. To Liam. I need someone to give me uh, uh perception check. Fizz, go. Your Wow. Um, nice roll. Um, so as you guys are leaving the dock area, and probably as you're at least like a you, you through the through the rainstorm, you happen to see one of those little beholders. It's it, it's probably about 60 feet away from, from you. And not like aggressive in any way, but you you notice that it's... Did you point you out the rest glance? of us? Or is it just him sees it? it? It's just Fizz. And Fizz kind of like keeps an eye, but he can... He's seen that like as he, for like at least a few thousand years. Few thousand, years, few thousand feet um, that let's put it together that it's following but it's keeping its distance it's... the things that you're used to, do you have an earbud I'm going to help. Tell I'll be right. I'll be right. You guys decide what you want. I think you should tell at least Bobbins and have him circle around because I think can we can we trap this thing? I was just going to shoot it. I was going to say I wanted to trap it so we can in, you know interrogate it. It probably doesn't speak. Would it speak uh, <laughs> Inferno or Well, I don't know. I'm thinking it's one that's like meow. Yeah, basically. That <laughs> was <What's> meowing. <laughs> I mean, if he sees it, he could probably turn around and shoot it. Yes. We could have two of those in our in our bar, guys. <laughs> we could. Just tack Dorm, every single one that we see. Hello? 
We can barely hear you. Volume soft. Hello? A little bit it's loud. So I did a PlayStation thing today, or my partner did for me, and pre-ordered Death Stranding. Ooh. Yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. Excited to see what what the game's about. Literally, it seems like you, kind of like the last, fall, the last Fallout, the last uh, Metal Gear Solid, you create your loadout. And then you deliver packages. <laughs> Is that a first-person shooter? Um, it's kind of it's, it's a shooter. yeah it's it's third person. Um, I think not necessarily over the shoulder. It's kind of like cinematic angles usually. Um, there usually is like a first-person mode though in his game, so I could probably play it as such. But he usually specializes in, like, tactical espionage type. That's what his whole Metal Gear Solid franchise was about, was tactical espionage. You know, Konami was a real bunch of idiots to get rid of uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I would agree, where they're just like, hey, we're done. I'm like, why? Why? Look at the one game you created without Kojima. It was complete smut, like, crap. Right. Did you see the list of actors in this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is great. It's like... Norman Reedus, Mad Mickelson? <laughs> uh-huh. Norman Reedus is the main character. Right. I, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I didn't realize that they had these... Uh, Guillermo del Toro's in this? Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, and he looks great. And it's funny because it they're not just voice actors. They're literally... The yeah. characters. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why it's like, yeah, it, I'm like, it, he really, people want to work with him, obviously. Right. And like the soundtrack's pretty bomb too. And like the whole concept of it's just completely wild. Like you just start watching the trailers from start to like now and you're, you're still like, what is going on? Yeah, but apparently you can you can pee on the ground and grow mushrooms, and then he'll punch he'll punch the camera if you keep turning around to see his ding dong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's such a it's it's such a thing that things like those little things what he does. Mm-hmm. I remember like the original Metal Gear Solid, uh, where you had to fight the what was the the psychic dude. Uh, psycho, psycho mantis. Psycho mantis. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, you had to switch the ports of the controller to beat him. Yeah, yeah. You had to oh. switch the ports. Yeah, because he could read your your mind if you didn't switch your ports. Also, there was one part where you had to take your your memory card out because mm-hmm. he would erase your saved game. Yeah. There was something like okay. that in there. Um, or it's like whatever. It's like go ahead and put the controller on your leg and it would vibrate because it was shoots healing you technically yeah fun little things like that I remember I, I, I couldn't figure out the controller thing for a while but I got really good at fighting Psycho Mantis so it would take him like 
you know, I'm trying to get shots and I can't. But I was getting like taking like 20 minutes to die. You know, like he wasn't killing me, I wasn't killing him. Yeah. Like, There's gotta be a way to do this. Yeah. Eventually, it's like. Oh. Yeah, I think you have to. You have to call like I think is it Mei Ling, who tells you that, tells you to switch your your control ports. But she kind of phrases it almost like it's about your thought train. Yeah, if I remember like, at first, it was like they gave you like hints about it, but they didn't directly tell you. But if you keep uh-huh. messing it up, eventually they're just like switch control points. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really, I really enjoyed uh, the Phantom Pain um, a lot. Uh you know, because like the Phantom Prey, the the what do you call it? The um, what was the first one? There's the Phantom Pain. The first one's Ground Zeroes. They made like an intro to the fifth game. So oh, really? yeah, so like now when you buy it, you buy the intro and the Phantom Pain. So Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain. But I actually own on the because I bought it for the PlayStation. Um, PlayStation, what do you call it? Three. Yeah, I still have my PS3. Look at that. Um, the PlayStation Three. So I got the Phantom Pain and Ground Zeroes. Um, and Ground Zeroes was it was kind of fun because it was like you're you were relearning how to play because they changed the controller layout. So that's why they came up with the whole introductory so that you could buy like a portion of the game and start playing and one of the missions was rescuing um uh you know rescuing a pause who is the main character who's like a, a main character in the next game but also one of them was uh um Hideo Kojima himself <laughs> Yeah, and so it t- it, after he sits there, he comes, up, he takes off his hood or whatever, and you see it's Hideo, and he's like, you know, he's like, he what took me so long? Yes. Yeah. You can. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. Perfect. Begin. So. Yeah. I don't know why it was. It was like disabled for some reason. So. Huh. Get rid of that. Yeah. Right. We're good. Just go to but um, that's the Patriots was a really fun one. Also, shoot, I, I think all of them are. Snake Eater was fantastic. Is that that Rye? Yeah. Maybe I'll get that strength eventually, but I don't have a PS4. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna release it yet on the initial release no. through. You actually, you might be able to play it still because I think they introduced um, the PlayStation Store, or no, it was PlayStation Plus. You can download the games on your PC. Just emulate. Yeah. Let's get back at. A lot of people do that. Yeah. Well, they finally they finally let down on their whole. Um, anti certain games to understand you need to keep it but all right yep. we got a blanche you're in yeah right, you got your control of your character nothing's changed on your character sheet you're all <laughs> we were headed to the mausoleum and we had just spotted you well are going to the mausoleum nope but uh, oh yes what's his name or just just spotted one of those little mini things a gazer, gazer. Mm-hmm. what do you do with yes, that gazer and i'm going to uh notify the group that okay and do you guys keep um, going or do you guys closest to us it's at least 60 feet away as far as you can tell in this rain. Actually, hold uh, on a minute. In this six. rain, let me see what you can actually see in the rain. They can't see us. I think we can't see it. Just, just put that out there. Uh, yeah. 
You can just right. see that it is following you. Any objections to killing it? I mean, it sh shouldn't be following us. And it'll be a great addition to the bar. Everybody has to turn their volumes up. Anyway. I'm gonna just flip around and shoot. You're gonna do what? Flip around and shoot. Okay. Alright then, let's do an initiative, I guess. Oh, I'm doing a surprise round. Okay. Oh, you definitely get your surprise. I need my character but to let's, click on. Let's do an initiative. Oh. Let me bring characters to this map then. Hang on. Okay. The other map will just stay on the Overland map. Okay. Uh, um, but I'll put your characters on there. Select them. There you go. Mm hmm. Rolling well today. Just saying. Need a blanch. Oh. Um. Everyone got initiatives up? Go ahead and do your uh, uh, attack. See if this works. Ooh. The range is coming down too hard. Well, do I get advantage of that? Because it doesn't know I'm, atta I'm attacking first. Technically, I rolled a 12. You do get advantage on that. Did that, that, that not yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm just still building it out. Hang on. Um, I... No. It, the rain was causing too much obscurity for you to hit. Fizz, what would you like to do? You just told Bob, or you told the group that uh, something was following. Um, and Bobbins, what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to shoot at it with my, um, By the way, you guys are in the my... middle of the street, in the middle of, like, eh, late afternoon, early evening time. It's raining. It's raining. There's not a lot of people out or anything, but you are in the middle of a street. I'm going to look both ways, and I'm going to shoot my crossbow. That would have been really <laughs> awesome if you said look both ways and crossbow. Yeah, you definitely hit. Well, at least one of us did. And you definitely destroyed it. <laughs> you shot your crossbow bolt, and <laughs> it just fell out of the sky. It's dead. All right. Mm -hmm. Did you want to go get the corpse? Yep, I'm going to hobble over there and pick up the corpse. Okay. You can take that uh, bolt if you'd like to give it back to Fizz as well. Yeah. Like, right. Good shot, Fizz. But check it out. Okay. You guys continue on to the mausoleum. Keep an eye out for any more of those. So apparently the Xanthars are following us. Uh, keep an eye out, Sean, for anybody following us other than mythical creatures. Okay. Hey, which was around? Uh, give, give me a perception check. 
Uh, you're pretty familiar with the Whistlers, and um, you're you are. You're not quite with the language of the whistles, but you know enough, um, and you know that they're around. But once again, to remind you, they they, they typically hang out on the roofs of buildings, and the mm -hmm. whistles, especially with the thunder and everything. But I mean, even in general, they they sort of sound like a stereo sound. They're kind of all over. You know, they're out and about. I'll give. They're definitely communicating. I'll give a whistle about stuff. See if I can get one's attention. Um. Sure, you whistle. Uh. Not knowing the correct tongue. Uh. <laughs> uh I missed what we're but, whistling at. Whistling at the whistlers. No, the the guild, the whistler guild. Or the whistler Are they group. animals or humans? They're a no, gang. no, they're a gang. Oh, okay. If you remember, like, remember Beecher? Of the whistlers? He's dead. Who's dead now? Oh, right, okay. Bobbins. They're like, they're like, they're like ratty boys. Anyhow, um, you kind of give, you kind of mimic the same kind of whistle that, uh, Give me a charisma check. Let's do that. You want me to do a straight charisma check? Okay. Charismatic is that whistle. Right. Okay, it's not bad. There you go. So yeah, you you actually mimic them pretty well. Uh, you mimic the whistle that um, uh, you last remembered, which was when Yas Yasmin called you over, um, and you actually see for a roof look at, at you uh, and give you a nod. Oh wait! God, before anybody even looked, uh, he's definitely not like coming off the roof or anything. That's what you're expecting. Of, uh, so acceptance. And so by the way, you're not. And you have him shoot that, him you're up. not exactly on your streets. And if you remember, like the way the whistlers work, they all have their own little areas, but they're decentralized sort of group. Right. So group isn't particularly part of the group that you know with well with Beecher and Yasmin. I was hoping my reputation oh. for buying services was known, though. <laughs> Should they talk to each other? Well, you might think highly of yourself. The whistle enough was enough to give you a nod. Yeah. But like doing a wave to come down is not like an. Okay. Is that? Perceive that way. Do you want to go up or oh, pursue way up? Sure, or... I'll climb up there. <laughs> okay. In the rain. Yeah, it seems to go well. And and so you see you see a man who and this one's older than what you are used to because most of these guys are just kids. Um, but this one's probably in his younger twenties, like yourself, probably. I don't know how old you are. How old are you? Me? Oh, I'm not yeah. that old. Enough. In my mid twenties. So he's a little younger than you, and he says, uh, uh, "Well, you must be you must be uh, of our early twenties. Uh, so we're uh, oh, you know, you know the Xanathars, right? Yeah, yeah. She did. So um, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, then you know what my problem is. I was just wondering if you guys." Do a little scouting for me. Look, I don't know you. You obviously know us. That means you're tied to somebody that I know. And by way of fair trade, absolutely. Yeah? What do you need? I need you to just like look out for them and see if we're still being followed. And uh, give me a specific whistle if we are. That's all. Nothing to get you in trouble. I'll give you a couple of gold for that. I think those gazers also know. That if we're whistling around, they're onto us. We have to be really secret because they fly, you know. Mm-hmm. No, I understand. So uh, I don't really know a good way to do it. Uh, well, tell you what. Fuck! I don't even. I can't even communicate ahead of time. Are you on the go right now? Are you trying to hide from them now? Yeah, we're. We don't want them to follow us. I can't even get word out to the other districts. 
So that's you, all I want. You... It's just to know if we're currently being tailed. That's all I need to know. That's fine. All right, here's the whistle. <laughs> and he gives you like a like kazoo sound whistle. Right. That's it. I hand him five. All right. This will do. We'll let you know. If an attack comes on you and you didn't hear a whistle, you can fucking kill <laughs> all right. me. Thanks for the offer. All right, all right, all right. All right. right. So you head down, and you start hearing, like, a communication of whistles. Mm-hmm. They're different than the zoop, zoop, but you can tell in the sense that they're communicating what you just trying Right. Cool. All right, guys, for a short distance, at least we'll know. If they're following us or not, hopefully. Mm, yay. If they're not following us now, then, well, they'll probably have a lot harder time follow, you know, finding us. You know what I'm saying? Like they have to follow right. us. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, so you're headed. To, you're headed in this direction. Um, and you pass through. Nope problems, no weird whistles, and nothing's following you. You have a feel of confidence. Right. Balls. Yep. Oh, my wow. eyes. As far as, Ooh. as you know, everything's good as you cross through here. To your, your um, destination. Let me move the map. Now, while this area, it is clearly a park. Hang on. Don't let the elves see that tree. So. Looks like one of those, like, Spanish moths. Mm hmm. So this. All right, go ahead and arrange yourselves as you will. But as you come to this uh, mausoleum, uh, um, you find that the section, the, 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 um, oh, shit. Why does this always happen when I flip to my notes? It's frozen. The fuck? Um, you find that the doors to this mausoleum are open when you would expect that they would be shut. Mm. Um, there's, there's no lights, really, but um, even though I have it all revealed there, the little theater of the mind, there's no light emanating from inside of the mausoleum. Mm. But it is the door is open. That's not a good sign. Do they look like they're recently opened? I asked that a fizz. Uh, do you want to investigate? Tracker fees. This is your specialty. Yes. Okay. Give me the investigation. Hush. I clicked it twice and I... Um, 11. Yeah, based based on the dirt just on the outside of these doors, you can tell that it's freshly dug up, like pushed from the doorway of this mausoleum. So Looks like she did tell them, or they figured it out. Hmm. 
Well, if Miko is in there, um, it might have been a be beholder. Those things seem to be everywhere. I'm going to go look around. You're going in? I helped him. Okay. Um, with your limited visibility, you can definitely see stones. Um, well, you still have your, your little stones, uh, but you can see that on the ground that there's a big, um, uh, uh, emblem that's sort of emblazoned on the, on the floor. Mm -hmm. You also see that there's four marble room and a stairs, excuse me, a stairway going down. Excuse me. All right, I'm going to discreetly look around the top floor here and see if I can see anything. I guess I'll cup my glowing in my hands to take a very limited beam and shine it around. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, so um, you don't really see much other than what I already described, which is these, this... Uh, uh, and then four, four uh, uh, um, uh, coffins that are are pretty well covered in the cobwebs. Uh, tracks in here. Make out what the tracks are, but um, just on a first glance, but you do see some tracks. And you do see that there are stairs, and the tracks lead to those stairs. That okay. go downward to the depths. I guess we gotta go down there. I'll wave everybody inside. You all see in the dark better than I do. Hmm. Okay, I'll go. I'll go after Bob ends, I guess. Yes, put yourselves in a marching order, if you will. Am I the person... Well, we all have the same sight in dark, right? We all have no. dark vision? No. <laughs> uh, Bobbins is the only one who's disadvantaged in that regard. Mm. Hence why I want those goggles. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, well, I do have dark vision, so... Um, who wants to go first? Uh... You. Are, um, you can go two, like two by two, like you know, uh -huh. side by side. But okay, we're going on a, a hiking trip here, y'all. Who's gonna come? Who's gonna come? Blanche, you should probably be in front, to be honest. Yeah. Tank. We don't yeah, have you're, tank. you're you're the pseudo tank. Okay. Along with my slight ability to be a tank. So Blanche and you to followed by me and, and, and Fizz then can Fizz take up the rear. Yep. Blanche, go, go. Next time. And, oh. <laughs> In the order that you described. Unless you want to get real technical and be like, Bobbin, Bud or Blaine. Does, Will, does, does Willard go down? Yes. They have dark vision, so he'll be bouncing on the walls. Yeah. Um... No, he can. I mean, how 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 many feet away are we now? Nearing a hundred. Oh, you're, you're, you're you're at least twenty feet down. Okay, so twenty feet. So we're nearing a hundred. All right. He can he can hang out in a tree up there. Uh, down below, you, um, 
these this area this the ceilings are about eight foot high um, and everything's made of stone as you would expect um, but nothing nothing crazy you do see some So you know that there's been activity down here. Hmm. Um, so after kind of going down this steep, I probably am going to call Willard to perch on my shoulder. Okay, <laughs> you're getting a little nervous. And yeah. Like, uh, Willard. Should roll for Willard. Yeah, why An not? Initiative roll? Um, I, let's see, I don't have control of him. Still an issue from oh. yeah. I could roll you in an initiative. All right. I'm sorry. Right. Hold on. You don't have to do that. This, this initiative rolls from long before. You don't have to do initiative. Okay. Rolls. It's fine. I was I saw the initiative roll thing. And I'm like, oh, you, you should be on there. But never mind. No big deal. So, Blanche and Uniquad, you lead the group. You do see, uh, straight across from you, another cough. Um, I'm going to call it Nico. Nico, and take five steps forward. Nico. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to walk up to one of the coffins and just kind of like inspect and see if I see anything unusual or something. Mm -hmm. Which one? What did you say? Which one? Yeah. Like the one closest to me. Maybe? Well, you gotta move your uh, move your character. All right. Check. All right. This I'm looks going like to, a typical uh, coffin eel. Um, pretty decently built. Um, in fact, it's made of marble. Looks like some seriously rich people must have had this mausoleum uh, erected. I'm going to call Bob into my side. And I'm gonna uh, ask him if he could guide him. Or what is? Be better for this. I'll pull on my stones. Yeah, I also cast. I right. Investigation check, please. Sure. Mm. Do you want to use guidance? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
doesn't take like kind of looking around and it's like oh oh shit and he, and he flaps towards you and as he flaps towards you he blows some shit around what? but the shit that he blew around was enough to tr trigger you to look in a in a direction and you immediately saw some print you're you've you've got a knife ball on these things for sure. As you follow them, um, Willard is like flat flat right the fuck over here for some weird reason. Nelyani. I'll look where. Okay. So. Um, let me reveal the skeletons. Oh, skeletons. <laughs> Um, right where Willard is, as you look down, you see that he flat, flat, flapped to this coffin. And just where he, he's at, you see this key, shiny-ass key. Very ornate-looking key. In fact, this looks like a custom job for someone like yourself to see a key like this. You know locks. This is something custom. Alright, well I'll pick up the key. Still looking around for rodent tracks. Yep. The rodent tracks lead to the east. And that's to the right there? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. Yes, keep searching there. Uh, I guess I'll follow the road tracks this way. Okay. And just to the north of you, uh, and up and yep. Are you going to reveal anything there? Didn't I do that? No. Oh. Not north of me. All right. And we end up here. Yep. I look around. There's nothing there. No holes in the wall? Nope. Not that you can tell. Not that you can okay. tell. Up in this forking path. Over here, this I guess any keyholes, any, I guess I'd have to, oh, that's, there's a coffin there. Um, there's nothing else. How about this area? There is a coffin there. That's it? That's all you can... I'm going to nudge the lid of the coffin a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Give me a strength check. Just to see if... Just to see if it opens, like, with ease, but... Let's see. Strength check... <laughs> okay. 
And you know you're just a slight push away from pushing it all the way open. Do you proceed? Um, well, at that point, since I did a bit... And when, when, when you... When, no, you can't. When you did push it open, whew, this dust whew, comes out. Um, it stinks a little mm. bit. Um... You would proceed? Mm, I'm going to leave it be. Okay. Bobbins, I'm wondering if that key belongs into one of these coffins. I was just is... around for a few holes, yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't think that, I think that one actually is the resting place of a family member. Can I look at the the key like does it look like something that might be like elven or something that one of us could ah, figure out give an investigation what? check okay. I look at the key yeah. yeah I don't want to I don't want to waken any spirit it's <laughs> Corpse and well, I'm looking for like a this key pseudo coffin. Um, looks pretty fucking awesome to you, but you immediately get this distaste in your mind. Like, ugh, this looks like something some fucking dwarf made. <laughs> okay, uh, check out this this uh. Coffin where I'm at. Uh huh. What do you want to do with said coffin? Yeah, I just want to give like a little bit of a just a tiny little push on the top to see if it opens. Wrench. It doesn't oh, budge. Yeah, I'm weak. I'm weak. All right. Does anyone want to help him? No. I mean, I figure if it doesn't open with, if it isn't open with ease, then it's probably a real sealed item. Mm. Sure. Everyone start looking for a keyhole. Going to this next one. What the hell? I'm seeing all sorts of things going on now. <laughs> I'm... Okay, give me a, an investigation check. Wow. So you feel along the wall. I'm gonna look over here. This is some solid stone, and you get the sense that this is definitely carved as an alcove for the next. In it's perfectly. Ju it is almost just as. as uh, symmetrical or whatever as the last coffin that you saw. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a coffin in it, but you would expect that this is where the next of kin would go. Okay. I'm going to press against the wall and see if there's anything to it. Oh, I already assumed no. that you did that. You don't find anything unnatural, no trap doors. You investigated this to your utmost. There is nothing other than stone alcove. Dug out. And the tracks just stop there. Oh, the tracks stop there. Keep in mind, mm -hmm. you remember that the rat, as it were, well, I don't know if you know this, never mind. Uticquad was a talker. I was listening. I know the rat was like some sort of familiar. It was... Exactly. And these, there, there's no stop here. There is no dead rat in the vicinity. Mm -hmm. What happens when you're familiar when it's killed? What's that? What happens you're familiar when it's killed? Back to the chin, you know. Does it leave the corpse behind, or is it just poof? No, just goes back to the pocket dimension, just like normal okay. familiars do. Right. Yeah. 
here. Got it. I mean, somebody else got the stone. No, it just. This is apparently going to be a clue. No? Okay. Hmm. great opportunity as you just have a big pass to her. I mean, you're taking your... Key. And the thing is... Um... Ulmar work. Ulmar works. Ulmar works. Oh. M A R works. Ulmar works. All right, got it. No. They're really shiny. <laughs> If only, but good berry would be. Be what? Well, I don't want to just. Well, I don't. I mean, yeah. That. Haven't done as inspector. I can go ahead. Interesting. I know. Well, we do have sand. The way back to the. Or that. Um. I guess we could go back and take a look into what you've sold a key. Shack in the <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Well, yeah. We can do that. That's a, it's a loose lead. Um, By the way, taking note, Shack in the Woods shack has a door. Has a door. Yeah, it's a very crude one. Bobby just has a hole for your finger. Yeah. <laughs> All of this. 
slippery stuff. There's just doing so well. I mean, by living in this goddamn shack of the woods with a door. He wakes up every morning and takes. Well, you guys don't know about that. Rough every morning. <laughs> Putting coffins. Putting coffin, guys. I mean, Mike. A fight and you get some experience. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to this guy over here, and since it's already cracked open, and see. You fully push it? Yeah, I'm gonna fully push it. What's your strength? It's a one. 13. You need help. All right, I need help, guys. Help me. I got strength. All right. Who's helping? Help. Who's helping? Fizz I helps will. you push it open. Fizz, what's your strength? It doesn't matter. I think you're good. You push it open, and there is an immediate stench of just like, oh, it's it's suffocating uh, almost. Like, oh, oh, oh. you gotta take your breath a minute, um, and you just see a uh, sort of a mummified corpse, and there's wrapped in um, well, you see some corpse that is wrapped in some sort of a wrapping. It's a mummy. I'm leaving. Bye, guys. <laughs> you do not want mummy rat. <laughs> but, no, saying. but nothing happened. That happens. No, that, okay. That's how they get yeah, you. Hmm. Can we put the lid back on? You sort of like pushed it and kind of like you can you yeah you can put it back on yeah. Okay. Yeah, just to be just to be respectful. I don't want to <laughs> you should, go back to. You don't want to take like a finger or something. No, you're kind of out of care finger. I I mean, it, but he, it's all mummified and wrapped up too. You should so. definitely take one. a finger. He didn't kill this uh, one, so. Yeah, it's kind of, it's not really a trophy at this point. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But I will probably I will probably touch its forehead. Nothing happens. Yeah. Okay. Get killed. That's yeah, good. But nothing was in there, guys. Um, all right. Uh, you gonna push them all open? Anything else they want to do? I don't know. Do, do you want to push them? Do you want to? Do you want to push them all open? I mean, I feel like what is the potential of having some secret in here? Well, it's a rat, so we know it didn't actually get in the coffins without having a. Hole into them. That's, That's true. Loud. Thought like I lifted the lid up with the star impact. Well, I guess you know what I could do is like I think he can only do sixty pounds. <laughs> uh, why don't you have a spell like speak with dead or something? That'd be useful. I think. I don't, I don't know if I get that spell into the wizard spell. I think it's a wizard spell. I like much more useful classes. Anyway. Uh. I feel that it's a secret. I mean, unless you just sent us on a wild goose chase for no fucking reason. And she actually has a stone and she takes six. Yeah. Those after us, the claws are not cheap, by the way. What's the marching order of. So we got Uniquai.
right? Oh shit. You're out. And you see some uh, dwarves. Oh, there? That's right. Oh yeah. Yeah. They were this there already. Like rough you. part of the neighborhood, huh? It's in the Why am I in the front? Well, you said you were in front, <laughs> mister. No, I said Blanche and Udaqua were in front. Like, that's what I said. The order from before. Blanche, Udaqua, me, Naliani. Uh, I don't even have a talk with Like powerful gnomes. Dark dwarves, which are oh, like obviously are... dark dwarves. It's not like they can just blend in. Guys are out. Actually, I don't like this. Oh, yeah. Time, right? <laughs> Behind them. Huh. Hmm. Um... Um, before, before initiative, we'll call this surprise round, because you guys were surprised to see them when, when they came out, but we'll call it a surprise round. Um, does anybody speak Dwarvish? Since no. Hey. Oh. Hey. Speak to Warvin. You too. Anyone who speaks Dwarvish. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, for anyone that speaks Dwarvish, you hear. Uh, is the stone. I no. Dwarves are asking where the stone is. You, you, oh, oh you are going to tell the group? Okay. Oh. Well, tell them apparently not here because we are. Yeah, oh, I you say yeah, what stone? So we relay that. Mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, while you're playing translator. Uh, these, you can see that these guys are getting fucking... Now we're in... Now we're in initiative. So... Okay. Should be Blanche. But you see you. Um, you recognize them from before. Uh, them. A gate. 
feel like we're part of a game show host here, you know, like... <laughs> the answer is destroy it. I got time for that. This is like... Right. The bonus range on the maze. Yeah. On a minute. Hold on one thing at a time. Are you attacking the one directly in front? Yeah, sure. You tell me. I'll attack the baby. dwarf with the mace. How's that? The dwarf with the mace? Which one has the mace? The one that's okay, in front of it. my mace. He, you take, he mace. takes an 11. What's it kill? You, you, you speak dwarvish, right? Me? Yeah. And you hear, Motherfuck! <laughs> uh, right, well, do you firebolt? Do you firebolt the same guy? Yeah. <laughs> Want to make yeah. an extra toasty? Shit! She says, well, "This is fucking shit." In large. In large. Immediately. Okay, so tell the group that he's. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> See that this guy yeah. growing what? huge. Mm -hmm. They do that. He fits to that door, huge though. Huge to you. He's just like. And, um, let's how big see. did I get? Uh, he is large size. Can he fit through the door? Yes. And let me mark him down. And, and, and make it huge. His large size, and he's going to That's far enough. Just... Yeah. What would you like to do?
Uh, yes. Uh, uh, shouldn't that have been an automatic crit for me? Only if they, only if they're surprised. No, it does. What's that? Uh, did it advantage on attack crawl against any creature that hasn't taken a turn? Combat, uh, you have, have advantage if he hasn't taken a turn, yep. which you did. You, we gave you that. In addition, surprised. He's not surprised. Oh, okay. So I get advantage just for the. Okay. You have cool. advantage, which, but your advantage gives you. Because if you have advantage. Right, so he takes just 13. You get sneak attack. Got it. So he takes 13. He's looking pretty rough. So you just like, douche, shoot him with your your sharp bow, and like he's looking like really rough. Um, and and uh, um. He's going to Okay, this guy is going going to grow large. This guy is not and he's huge. Hmm. Let's see. So, interesting. Mm. Yeah, Yanni. Magic. Yeah, just ma magic. Just like force, I believe. Mm. Just a spiritual weapon. What do you think I need a quad? Well, it's going to cast uh, Shatter on them. It will not affect the mace. Okay. I'm going to step back over. And... and it, it, was dark. it was nighttime, right, Sean? It was the beginning of the evening. Oh, I'm still up. Mmm... It's probably more near does like it's coming up, like six p.m. in the fall. It's not quite dark. And uh, actually, you know, I, I think I'll kind of save that because what a shatter! All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to target one. And cast my Eldritch Blast. I don't want to waste them quite yet. Targeting this one right here. Or actually, no, this one that I, I can see fully. Have you? No, this one right from outside of the corner. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you 
Your blast is. <laughs> uh, she's still in the front. Oh. Yeah, she's still in the front. Uh, Fizz. yes. Shoot the one that's. I'm there. going to, um. It's a good thing you guys have like injured one of them. Hunter's Mark. For Hunter's Mark. Oh, Ooh, fancy. This right. kid's been paying attention. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. yes. Mark the... No. <laughs> Lady girl. No, then. I was thinking oh. incredible. It's just kind of no, turning to like shorts or your clothes. Are, do my clothes disappear and then they so reappear? It's actually explicitly <laughs> stated. Your okay. clothes, your armor, all of that can can fall off if you want, or as an option, it just becomes part of your being. Oh, okay. Which is what I assume that you do. Yeah. Because <laughs> it'd be curious. dumb to do the other one. <laughs> but they actually give you the option of that. But yeah, okay. you are now in bear form. Oh. Okay, so... And this guy has hunter's mark, right? Or something? He does, but that is... Oh, it doesn't make it so I... Okay. So I'm attack on uh, she... Claw attack and a bite. So a claw then bite. Claw. Claw is more damage. Okay. So R slash. Two. Hit, right? Six plus four. Oh wait. Oh, I. Oh, I, I should... Six. I just kept my mouth shut. Let her get a free hit. <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> gotta do the one d twenty plus. Yeah, yeah, oh, like yeah. Without the slash on the right side, it's gonna be on the left side of the R. Yeah. 
one D20. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so what you see is dwarves like just get huge. And then you you also just like oh, yeah, and just like douche go with your claw attack. And then I get twelve. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, if you hit, you just assumed you. Okay. You did a shit ton and slash it out of this guy. Bite attack. Bite attack, so. Yeah. Bite attack. Dude, even without the dire wolf, you're like crazy as hell. <laughs> So you gotta do that 1d20 plus 6 again. Oh, okay. You hit with your bite again. So as you slash, just slashing this dwarf, the same thing this enlarged dwarf's face. Now you come in for the bite. Oh, she looks worried. Okay, so 1d... I hear Durgar don't taste very good. Plus four. Maybe eight. Doing an additional nine damage. Very nice. Danny. Yeah. It's like. Riz, you gotta hit next round. Mage. Yeah. Um, we're gonna move the mace up to the guy with the hunter's. Okay. The weapon. Thank God you're always hitting. Should have missed with that fire. But your, but your fire whoosh hit for damage. Burning sleep of it. Ah! Arch dwarf to the bear. And he just has that you motherfucker, <laughs> and he takes his war pick. And he's just like God. war pick. Ah. And uh, oh, nice. um. Hmm. One attack? Really? What, that's guys? It. That's all he gets. I know, I'm surprised myself, but that's it. Oh, dang. So... Get one attack. And by the way, he whiffed you, like, he he actually cut like, off of you, but... Thirteen hit. Which one? The one right with the with the mace right in front of it. E. Not the one. Yeah. Uh, uh you there. you whipped. Huh? Okay. Does that end your turn? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess I could step one back. There you um, A lot. Um, hang on one second. Let's see here. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, um. Mm-hmm. 
This guy is going to throw a jab. Hit. For nine, for nine piercing. Don't worry, don't worry, Bear. I got you. I got your points. Five. You quad. Uh, let's see. Uh, Let me just stop. Hang on. Get that invisible. He may or may not. If he's they should have put it behind them. Or... Yeah. I, I was actually thinking about casting it here. Because like it, it's a 10 foot. Radius, yeah. Which I don't know. How he draws the tent so well. How do you use the tool? Radius that right there, or I don't know. We'll see. I think larger. No, radius squares across. Mine's too big. Two. So that's one, two, two, right? Radius is oh, four squares across. Four of them. Yeah. Now how do I delete that? Uh, you gotta select the and hit the. Where's the very hard to, or circles are hard to grab a hold of? There we go. No. Hey, yeah, let's try that again then. Uh. It's really funny story to tell. So, sure. oh my god. It's I'm in a hurry because. You know, because we're in the middle of it. Uh, there's a fucking dog toy that we have. It's, it's like this huge, undestructible, like, like bone-looking thing with two round ends, right? Blah, blah, blah. Right. I shit you not. I on that and fucking went right on my ass. My feet went right up underneath me. I fucking hit my ass. <laughs> so, dude. The bathroom. Boom! I was like, fuck! Anyway, my knee 
He is fucked up. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, whose turn? Australian. Oh, you're drawing on your own? Thank you. Thank you. Because I don't have to be the guy that does it, by the way. You guys can draw. <laughs> Thank you. But 10 foot radius, don't forget. That's a. Uh, when you think about radius, 10. Uh, radius is 20 foot diameter. So it's double what you drew just now. Is Unless you already a, drew. Uh, isn't that 20? No, you got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. 15, 20. Okay. You got Great. It. You got it. And so, yeah, so I'm going to pick up some, oh, uh, shit. a stone off the floor. Where are you casting it? Right there? Yeah, that's if where it's going to be cast. If you move it up a little bit, you might get a little bit of the bear. <laughs> I'm, I'm so nervous. Move it up a little bit. This of what the bear is, yeah. No, you put it Durgar and no bear. Hmm. Friendly DM offering. <laughs> Strike. There. Didn't say any more. I mentioned him earlier. Unless you do, maybe you see him. Unless you do. I guess they. Yeah, do it. And what am I? I'm casting at level two still. I was gonna say, uh, yeah. I feel like my feel I just have and just boom, he blasts him to the back end, back wall. Bam, he is. Is dead. Nice. Blam. I is going. He did not say takes a full sixteen. However, wait. If you fail, fail, do you get pushed back? Um, doesn't say anything about. Getting pushed back, no. I don't believe. Let me confirm though. I think it's just the damage. I think you still get pushed back because no. I think he gets pushed back a little bit. Just for just for flavor, he gets pushed back. Does that end your turn? Just like and everyone sees like this shit just happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's it. Um, you still have Hunter's Mark on your one boy. Yeah. I'm not gonna... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
You whiffed, and you oh, are God. not used to whiffing. Your confidence is shaken, probably because you haven't been on the last few outings. Does that end your turn? Um. Yes. Blanche, what would you like to do? Nelyani? What? No, Blanche. Blanche. Blanche just looks great out because she's a bear right now. Oh, that's right. Okay. But I'm keeping track. Got it. I was trying to distract the dog. You have a huge... So, just so you know, you did quite a cast and shatter. <laughs> And it killed one of the guys that was right in, right in front of you. Okay. Yep. Like, like that guy? Yep. You... Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Go for plus six. 19. Holy fuck, you just clawed the shit out of him. <laughs> me a 2d6 plus four. You're doing claw. 2d6 plus 4. Wow. He of life. Do you want to bite him? Yeah. Your bite. 17. Right after you fucking claw. And then it's... So... You just like clawed at his at his guts, revealing like appendix, and I'll fling it off, off like a dog just playing with a toy. Just like floosh, you do quad. You just got splattered with intestine, and you love every fucking minute of it. Oh my god. Yeah, he does. It Blanche. just bites him. No, I need her to move, Sean. She's trying to move action. Wait, what? Move if you'd like. Please move next to left. Move where? Move next. Okay. Wait, I, I, I think that. Uh, Yeah. I'm loud. What? Does he not fill the space? No, he can fill a space. Whatever. She is the specific I, I, space. He is whatever I, space he's in. Well, that's what I'm saying. He fills the space at that point. He fills up to the yeah. space. So he's... She's touching him, that's what I'm saying. She's oh, she's reach. definitely touching him. You didn't even move Holy your weapon. Stuff. What are you doing? You, what? Where'd that, where, where, your spiritual weapon? Are you attacking the bear? Don't be silly. Well, you just <laughs> rolled it. I don't know what you're doing. You didn't say anything. Oh my god! I cannot. Hold on, I gotta move that guy's fucking move. Wrong. This thing. Of course, yeah, you definitely that asshole. Yeah! Whiff. In fact, it's so much of a whiff. Um. Give me a damage Ooh. roll. Just burn. Give me a damage on that firebolt. You ags on uh, the bear. Fizzle, fizzle. Don't be silly. That's not nice. That, that was a... Missed. That's Fizz, just stopped, Fizz just shot me in the back before. I mean, I've killed each other <laughs> in the back. Bobby, it happens. Fizz, what would you like to do? Shoot that guy. 
shoot him. Poor god. Oh, I finally hit. You hit. Takes 14 points of damage. He does take 14 points of damage. He's on the edge of life. Edge of life. And then, from nowhere, not quite nowhere, uh. Bear is getting attacked. Hold my bear. I have oh, only part of Ingrid's sleeves in focus. It's trying to pierce. I'm uh, I'm trying to play with the zombie cruise. <laughs> the bear has three hit points left. Better um, finish everything off this round. An attack the bear. Oh, jeez. And he's going to whip. Oh, okay. So we got Udi. You now, out of nowhere, see a no bear. Right? You're like, Let's oh see. yeah, fucking hey, that guy disappeared out of nowhere, and now he's. Right. Okay, so um, I will go ahead and target this guy here that just. I'm into visibility. Let me delete my circle there, and we're gonna go go ahead and give another little crack. Oh, that would have been a nice. There's blast. Do you want a nice little advantage? Do you have a... Um. Um, does my Hunter's Mark transfer You can transfer your Hunter's Mark as a bonus action. Who would you like to transfer it to? You know, you got to beat on him. Mm -hmm. Take a shot. Damn, you hit. Oh, I think nice! Slayer! 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 Okay, that was... That was okay. Oh! Well, there's 16 points. Hold on, Yeah. Awesome! Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... going to uh, Okay. <laughs> Q bobbins. <laughs> um, that, right? And yeah. He's hitting things, Bobbin. <laughs> Blanche is Kim, oh, I'll do it. Um, hmm. 
Okay. We will do... Bear to give me a wisdom saving throw. Do you say the burr? The burr. The bar. Wisdom saving throw. The bar. Now, as a druid, I don't know if you keep. We we covered. I can't remember. Mental stats. I know, but I can't remember. Is it hers? Yep. Physical stats are hers. Mental stats are hers. Because it doesn't change your mind. Okay, so give me a wisdom. Give me a wisdom. A wisdom. Uh, DC 12, wisdom. Wisdom saving throw? Wisdom saving throw, yeah. You have to beat a 12. <laughs> wow! You said no. Okay. Said... Alright. What to do? It's crazy that the beholders get involved with this. First time we, first time Give we have murdered it. Give me a DC 12 strength saving throw. Oh, it's getting multiple attacks here? Yep. Yep. This must strength saving throw. That's the better. Yeah. Nope. You can't do wisdom as <laughs> good no, that's strength exactly as the a bear. Ruling. That's not fair. Is the physical stats well, me, of the animal, oh, the oh, mental stats are hers. Oh, Go oh, pull it up. Oh, we read now, this last time. I, now I have to pull it up. Do it. Yeah. We read this last did time. I, physical I, stats of the bear. She did. We, we, she I, transforms I did. her body. Think about it from sense. She transforms All her right, body, but not her mind. Your game statistics are replaced by the statistics of the beast, but you retain your alignment, person, and intelligence. Dump and charisma scores. What is that? You also retain all of your skill and saving throw proficiencies in addition to gain those of the creature. The creature. God, you're, okay, you know what? You should just die. You're, you're too OP. <laughs> Fuck you. And all your bullshit. Yeah, they suck, guys. Anyway, do the goddamn deck save. As a bear. If the bear is better than you, you do the bear. Well, no, yeah, you do the bear. The bear no right? matter what. You do the bear. Oh, you failed anyway. So, anyway. Okay. Um. You feel this force in, inside of you, and you are compelled. Heller? Save. And you move away. That's what it is, John. I can't. Makes her move. That's a deck save. I was gonna say you said strength. I read the wrong one. Strength. You said, strength. You said wisdom before. Strength check. Strength. It's a strength check. Next strength. check. Strength. So a strength saving throw. So wait. So I should make you. So. Oh, and then, which was a four. Yeah. Roll is twenty. Sure. Okay. One d twenty plus a four. Four. Plus four. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're never, never gonna get it, are you? I love you. <laughs> this is why I love being here. <laughs> I'm, I've got these freaking dogs yelling at me this whole time. It's like, and I'm trying to hear what you're saying. Ingrid, you, you, you right. saved. So you're fighting these right. powers inside of your head. You're like. <laughs> You're not gonna let it through. Nice. What would you like to do in reaction to that? It's your turn. 
Oh, it's my turn? Yeah. No, it's Blanche's turn. Okay. Sean, your mic got real far for you for some reason. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack the sleepy giant guy again. <laughs> sleepy giant. <laughs> He's just sleepy. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you crit. How's that? As you do. That that spiritual weapon has gotten more crits than I've out, I've gotten like in normal I, cast. I don't need to like create a new character. I'm gonna kill her off next. <laughs> uh, he's dead. The spiritual okay, weapon. You know that, right? then, then I'm gonna As you just blast cast it. fireball on the beholder. Wait, 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 wait. Now you have to go. Now. Oh, we need to shit because you gotta go through this goddamn. It's 120 feet. No, but you have to. You're shooting through a bear is blocking. The your visibility. Just to go it. around it. It's fine. It's fine. He still took damage. She. It's good. It, I, you threw. There's a straight path right there. Somebody there. Is. <laughs> I, I could see. <laughs> yeah, no, I could see that being a trouble shot for me. I actually hate all I mean, of you. Of you. <laughs> Bobbins, what would you like to do? If we were, if we were in a real game board situation, we'd get a little roller <laughs> out and just break between an arrow off its back. <laughs> by the way, that's there's a fourteen how in it. it. Works. Uh, where are you, oh, Bobbins? Bobbins? Where where I moved to? <laughs> yes. Uh, it takes uh, only five. Damn, that sneak's nice. Dang. Yeah. I know, right? It's nice. The guy's dead. He's dead. You he's... stand in front of me. I know, that's what I was going to say. We could all just kind of stack in front. Yep. It's like a centipede. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh... Rolls dumb. Alright. And. Oh, I'm like just. Take the. Can I. Uh, can I. Stand on the body? Yes. Go okay. stand on the body. Kick him aside. Stand here. <laughs> nah. If you miss, you're <laughs> dead meat. Why? Oh, did you, I don't you move I your hunter's him. mark? You, said. It like you it fucking hit! <laughs> it doesn't look like fucking miss. No. It. Not no, not only is this arrow just sends it like a, a flying bird a message to the beyond. This 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 little this little watcher is like it's so far gone. It's track it in the uh, the, the arm. And, oh man! I was gonna say if the, if the body's salvageable. I mean, and the roar of battle. Is over. Alright, I'm gonna Holy collect my arrows. Shit, guys. I'm going to collect my bullets. I am searching. You get half things. of what you expended. Yeah, I already got that. Rounded down. Yeah, I'm gonna search the bodies if they have anything left. Yeah. Okay. Is there any gold on these guys? Any magic items they dropped? Ah. Uh. Perhaps. Do they shrink down to size when they die? <laughs> okay. Yes, they do. I mean, their clothes must be stretchy. Is it like Transformers? <laughs> Little cars and then get bigger? You know what, Nelly? I, mean, I have a new... I have a new compartment of hate just for you. <laughs> because of that comment. <laughs> and just for that little... that. 
I actually don't all like chips. Oh, I need it. <laughs> I get it. Well, you now, made you the, some the sounds. The you yeah. made the transformer sounds when they were enlarging. Did I? Did yes. I do that? I give you. I give you a. <laughs> 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 I, I was thinking Super Mario sounds like uh, <laughs> like they I, cut the mushroom. You know. I have to be more careful with my uh, sounds. You, you're gonna need a soundboard now. That's what you're gonna need. Right, give, hey, Blanche, you can uh, a, come out of animal I'm shape. Searching the bodies. I am. And I'm sure everybody else is too. You, you need a what? I'm gonna call this a group roll. So, be the roller of what you find on all of the bodies combined. Give me 46. Okay. Are you fine? That's easy. Click that. You roll it. Easier for you than typing. Fast roll. You, you. Yeah, we can throw it at Ma we can throw it at Magla. Uh, yeah, Burgard don't really have much use for silver pieces or gold or anything. yeah, yeah, they do. They they're dwarf. They but but do not. It's like, yeah. They bronze, bull, and gold fins. Four silver? Alright, you, you can have it then. But you did? Yeah, that's great. What's the key? Brenda. Uh, like Xanathar are still <laughs> alive because they keep having they poop that's how they procreate <laughs> I feel like they just I don't know yeah it makes sense they poop or, you, or you chop grows from it oh. I don't know oh. Well, you don't really know. love beholders, then. Is that they're all moist. They're all moist. Uh, they're all, they hold a lot of moisture in their <laughs> stock. So, they're so. very moist eye socks. So when they, like, protrude eyeball bodice. Time. <laughs> See, yeah. Uh. Gross me out. And instead of like, I. Yeah. 
It's very much like a smooth, silky smooth. As it folds back from the eye. Oh, you guys should get experience with that. Oh, EXP. Right. EX. How many of you are there? There's 200 experience points for you. Yes. Each? Damn. Is it giving out good? Two hundred thirty-two. Nine. What well, you guys are a new? You guys listen after. Kids, it's just some very. This this. I mean, that is true. This was easy. I mean, we, most of the party would have died. Experience points that you mm-hmm. gained from those last two, six, and four. Four. Were com- did they actually? I would agree. I don't know. I feel like it could have been a lot more dangerous. They would have spread it out more. Four of you. I think somebody would have died in that case. Four during a closed confinement. Yeah. Is there? Air salute. Would have been fine. Pitch. Yeah. The guy what? You know the guy what? I just want. What? Go to bed. She's turning into a pumpkin. I love you, Ingrid. I'll see you in a minute.